around 2.20 a.m., there was a peculiar call made to 911. Jacksonville, 911, Yeah, someone reported, um... Wait, is there a new JCS as well? There's like a bunch of fucking JCS inspired ones. Florida is back in a fucking big way, dude. Are you guys ready for Florida to be back in a big fucking way? I know I am. Save them for Valkyrie? <laughs> Dude, there's some good ones. We could do it. Uh, we could do it together, but you know, I'm going to fucking hit it right now. I'm going to hit one right now. You know what I mean? A uh, car stolen. It's a 95 Honda Civic. You know who stole it? No, I don't. Uh, uh, Is this a blood? And, uh, it just, I might just take off. Okay, hold on one second. Let me just check and make sure it wasn't towed or anything, all right? It couldn't have been towed. Not that quick. And it's, it's um, my kid is in the back, still in the what? back of the car. Your my what? kid is in the back of the car. Okay. What color is it? It's a bright orange. You can't miss it. 95 on the civic. Which way did it go? Uh, I mean, I just seen it. I tried to run towards the uh, street, but it looked like it went loose. Left, but I couldn't tell, man. By the time I got from the back of the neighborhood, I think I had already. Okay. Okay. Which way was the last? Which way was the last thing going? It looked like it was going left towards uh, university. Okay. Is your kid? What's that? Your kid is in the back seat, right? Yes, in the back seat. Can you describe the suspects? I did not see. I went inside real quick. I put on a movie, and um, by the time I came out. It, the car was gone. So. Okay. Just stay on the line with me, all right? We have a lot of police coming. Thank you, Blue Ocean Event, for the 50 gifted subs. Another gifty. Okay. Police began the search for the 1995 bright orange Honda Civic. However, it's not a ridiculous notion to suggest that this call was strange. The caller, 32-year-old William Reuben Ebron Jr., who we will refer to as Reuben, is very nonchalant about the call. There were two things strange about the call. For one, he mentions the stolen car first, then the missing child. Under normal circumstances, it is likely that a missing child is mentioned first, since the parent calling would subconsciously perceive the missing child to be more important than a stolen car. That this dispatcher even gets caught off guard and has to clarify the situation since it is so bizarre to be fair most of chat immediately got that all of you guys immediately jumped on that good job chat a lot of five heads in here Our kid is in the back still in the back of the car my kid is in the back of the car okay the second strange thing is the unusually calm demeanor. Picture of this. You just went outside to find your car with a child you are responsible for gone. You would likely be frantic and unable to control yourself. You wouldn't be able to stop talking. You would most likely volunteer any relevant information yourself instead of waiting for any prompts. For comparative purposes, here is a more common reaction to a missing child. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> I called a little bit ago, the deputy sheriff said, I found out my granddaughter has been taken. She has been missing for a month. We're talking about a three-year-old little girl. My daughter finally admitted that the baby's in the store. I need to find her. Your daughter admitted that your ba the baby is where? But the babysitter took her a month ago that, that my daughter's been looking for. I told you my daughter was missing for a month. I just found her today, but I can't find my granddaughter. And she just admitted to me that she's been trying to find her herself. There's something wrong. I found my daughter's car today, and it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. Okay, what is the three-year-old's name? 
Everyone is different, and in criminal psychology, we cannot make broad assumptions because everyone reacts to strange situations differently, since strange situations happen rarely. However, the 911 call immediately placed Ruben as a suspect in the mind of detectives. The child reported missing is 21-month-old Lonzi Barton. He is the son of Lana Laramore Barton, who is Ruben's new girlfriend. Lana Barton worked as a dancer in Wacko's Gentleman's Club while Ruben was a local drug dealer. They had met during February, six months prior to the 9 one call at the Wacko's club when Lana Barton wanted to purchase cocaine as she knew Reuben was a seller. They hit it off romantically and moved in together in May. During this time, Reuben routinely was left alone with Lana Barton's children, Lonzi Barton as well as Lonzi's five-year-old sister. Reuben would even make transactions involving illegal substances while the children were with him. However, the two were madly in love as Lana felt the need to tattoo her boyfriend's name across her body. 15 minutes after the initial 911 call, the 1995 bright orange Honda the Civic was found less than a mile away with no one inside. At this point, detectives still had lots of questions, but it clearly was not a typical child abduction. If the criminal was attempting to just steal a car, then they would not have voluntarily taken the child and not the car. If the criminal was abducting the child purposefully, they would not have taken the car in the first place. They would have taken just the child. Something didn't make sense here, and Ruben was now the clear top suspect. Both Ruben and Lana are immediately brought in for questioning approximately two hours after the initial 911 call. At this point, Point. Detectives question Reuben in the hopes that they will be able to find the child, but Reuben is also a suspect. The detectives have to question Reuben in a way that is not confrontational, as that would risk Reuben seeking legal counsel and putting an end to the questioning. Instead, they have to first reassure Reuben and save the confrontation for later, since the child may still be alive at this point, and Reuben is the last person to have contact with the missing child. Morning, water, coffee, 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 and some water, please. All right, I'll get you both. Just sit tight. This ain't gonna be locked, so just open it. Now. All right, thank you. <laughs> At this point, Reuben is not under arrest and he is free to go. The detective mentions that the door is unlocked and is showing Reuben hospitality to make him comfortable enough to comply with what is asked of him later. The detectives will question Reuben under the guise of trying to locate the missing child, but they are actually locking Reuben into a narrative that will later be challenged with forensic evidence. <sighs> The detective asks for Ruben's phone, and Ruben agrees only because there has not been any confrontation yet. Ruben is free to refuse at this point, but he doesn't because he wants to be perceived as being helpful to the investigation and thinks refusing to cooperate will impede on that. Little does he know, he is already the top suspect in the eyes of the detectives, but they do a good job at making him not realize that. you have any issues with me looking at it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's dead. No, it's dead. It's dead. This is the one I got back to the house and called the police This one's with. totally dead. That's the one that you called the police with? Yeah. That, yeah. I initially called them with that. I probably got a word or two in. And Can I try charging it? Yeah. Uh, do you have a charger? I'm going to go stick it out and charge it, okay? You're okay with that? It's all right. The detectives then ask him to recall what he did the entire day prior to the 911 call. This is done to establish a timeline narrative. It doesn't matter if the timeline is the truth or not, as it can be later refuted with evidence. More importantly, it locks Ruben into a narrative. Why the fuck is it so loud, dude? What the fuck? When I headed back out, it was close to 12, 40, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there. Headed back out. Midnight to when? I say about twelve forty-five. Where'd you head to? Uh, went to the gas station. Got some gas. Which gas station? Um, Bay Meadows. The kangaroo. It's twelve forty-five this morning. A.M. Uh, yeah. Just got eight bucks. Pump number one. Did you go outside? Two. Pay cash. Yeah. Or was it? Did you go inside or was it a window? I went, I went inside. Okay. Okay. Um, from there it was... Were you, were you by yourself then? No, I had the kids with me. I know that doesn't sound too good leaving that car on, but we've been doing it for the past like month and a half. Hey, there's nobody perfect in this room. Yeah. Okay.
Ruben has just incriminated himself by admitting to child neglect. Ruben says he leaves the car on with the kids inside of it since the car might not start without a jump start if it's turned off. In the state of Florida, this is a form of child neglect as it is a prolonged period of time without necessary supervision. The detectives are quick to use this as a moment to build rapport by mentioning that no one in the room including the detectives, are perfect. Their accepting demeanor is building Ruben's confidence in his story, but it does not mean that any criminal behavior is going to be excused. But we've, um, if we turn it off, it's bound to not start up. Okay, we gotta always pop. He says that he also goes to the laundromat after the gas station, has to go back to the house to get detergent and go back to a laundromat. Then he goes back to the house, exits the car, but leaves the kids inside because he was supposedly going to leave to pick up Lana shortly. The five-year-old sister exits the car herself shortly after and comes into the house, but Lonzi is still in the car and that's when the car gets stolen. What was the reason you went back in? I don't remember. Went back to the house? Oh, well, you were at the laundromat, then you went back to the house. I right? went back to the house, yeah. What did you go back to the house for? Uh, to get some stuff. What did you go to get? <sighs> some stuff. Which is what? I mean, if you're going to be yeah, honest, now's the time to be honest. Some what? Cocaine. Okay. So you went back to get cocaine? Something like that. Powder or crack? No, not crack. Powder. All right. For who? For me to wake up. All right. So... What time was this? And look, I, I don't care about your drug use. I really don't. The detective says he doesn't care about his drug use to get Ruben to divulge as much information as possible. The bigger goal right now is to locate Lonzi, but the information related to drug use will be used against Ruben later. Uh, what were I just never want to say that. So you left laundry, you left it's it about there. 207, went inside, she came inside. I put the, um, did you do a line? The phone was already, no. The phone was already, or the TV was already on. I had a movie and so I heard it, put it on Aladdin. I was going to tell him to go ahead and watch it. And um, as I said, went out, ran up the street, and that car was gone. But you didn't do the coke? No, I didn't do anything. Is it still there? No. You got rid of it? Yeah. When did you get rid of it? Um, as I was on the phone. What'd you do with it? I just flushed it. Where do you, who do you buy your dope from? The detective strategically asks this question because answering anything solidifies Ruben as not only a user of illegal drugs, but also a solicitor. The only appropriate response is to shut down the question entirely. It has nothing to do with the missing child, and an innocent person primarily concerned with the missing child would have likely responded with aggression in order to bring the focus back to the missing child. You can give me a nickname. I don't need his real name. I don't really care. But who do you buy it from? Oh, man. I don't know. It's just various people. Honestly, like, you go to the club. Who, who do you buy it from normally? I'll go to the club and somebody might have it. I really don't. So there's no one you call? There's people I, I, can, <laughs> I can call and <laughs> get something. Ruben shows no aggression and admits that he can get it from a source. Ruben answers questions about drugs because he believes that it's better to admit the lesser offenses, such as cocaine usage, and get away with a bigger offense, such as being responsible for the death of a child. The detectives say they don't care about Ruben's drug use, but Ruben's answers about drugs will be used against him to further demonstrate child neglect since police will now have evidence that Ruben both used and transacted illegal drugs while being in close proximity to the children. This form of child neglect is a serious offense and in the state of Florida, it is punishable by up to five years in prison on its own. Does that phone have GPS? Yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to, it's going to tell us where you were, yeah. basically. Is there anything that you're, that you may have forgotten that it's going to tell us where you are? Nothing. Can you walk us through the routes that you drove, line it up with your GPS on that phone? Straight up and down. Okay, and that's it. You didn't deviate at all from that. You didn't go into any neighborhoods, didn't stop anyone's no, house. No. Nobody's house, no nothing. You're getting gas at 1245, midnight to 1245. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to do a load of laundry? We always do that. It's you just put a load of laundry and go pick her up, come back with the laundry? I mean, yeah. I mean, normally we'll go at 2, 3 in the morning. 
I understand that. Our, if it's all of y'all. Well, our schedule is just different. It's honestly, it's fucked up right now. Well, that, that, that's fucked up because, I mean, if you're going to put it, even if you get there by one, I mean, you don't have a chance to do the laundry to go get her in time. The, the laundry goes for 25, 30 minutes. You go and get her, she's right See, on the street. That's pushing it then still. No, I just put one in. I go and get her and then come back. And the detective will ask Ruben an incriminating question, and Ruben will once again not only answer the question and incriminate himself, but expand on it and admit how long he has been doing this. After this answer, Ruben is not free to leave and can be placed under arrest for child neglect. The officers do not place Ruben under arrest to maintain the guise that this questioning is primarily about finding the missing child. You're right. Did the kids go into the laundry mat with you or they stay in the no, car? in the car. Both of them? Yeah. Car running then? Car was running. Car is always running. We'll go to Win Dixie and leave it running because we don't want the house. Okay, I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I feel like I I, I feel like it's a little aggressive to be like oh the officers at this point can place him under arrest like really like because he left his kid in the car i mean even if it even if he wasn't responsible for the murder like i i doubt florida officers are like oh wow you left your child in a car while you went to the laundromat well turn yourself in at 2 a.m in florida turn yourself in sir we're, we're arresting you like it's the drug shit that's like significantly more uh you know arrestable than the child endangerment. He's admitted the drug use around his children. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess that's the reason. It does make sense. So if I have to try to jump it, sometimes it'll jump, sometimes it won't. And that's been going on for about two months. So you ran up to Old Kings Road and you saw your car going to the left? I, I was going up the complex. I might have been maybe by the mailbox, maybe a little bit further than that, and I seen it going to the left. And did you ever see it go any other way? I never see anything else. Was he in the car seat? Yeah. Was he strapped in the car seat? Yeah. You sure? You can't get out of it. How do you pay your AT&T bill? Um, do you pay online? online? Do you pay online? Usually. So you have an AT&T account? No, I just, I just, well, yeah. I mean, when you get the phone, you just get on that. Do you know the, oh, you pay it from the phone? I pay it from my phone. Do you have a my online password? Yeah. Can you tell me what that is? And you still don't have a problem with me going into your phone, looking at the GPS stuff. Okay. Were the headlights on the car when you went inside? I don't believe so. What if what if you had what if you had a chance to tell Lana what happened? What have I told her? Yeah. I wasn't you told her what the story was. I just told her exactly that. Went upstairs, she ended up coming in. When I went out there, the car was gone. Make sure I'm clear. Yeah. Went to the laundry with you. Yeah. She stayed in the car. Yeah. So did Aaron. Yeah. Then y'all went back to the apartment. Went back to the apartment. Stayed in the car. Yeah. You went inside. Yeah. She followed behind you. And how long were you inside? What'd you guess? 60 seconds? Ish. Yeah. Right, that car you drive, if I, he's seen it before. If I understand it. It stands out, right? Yeah. You can't miss it. Yeah. Um, I'll show you a map. That little area right there, that's your apartment complex, right? It is, take my word for it. Right here. Yeah. In the circle. Right there. Yeah. That's the apartment pool. Mm. All right. The first confrontation is about to begin. The car was seen yesterday at the same spot the supposed child abductor left it at. If this were in fact true, then it would show that Ruben had planned this himself and premeditated where to take the car the day before. Wow, worst child abductor in the fucking entire state, dude. 
crazy. Crazy that that happened. Or scroll out. What a throw. Right what a throw. Along this road, I had two different people mm. tell detectives that they saw your car over there yesterday. They saw my car over there yesterday. Repeating a damning question is a common reflex of an untruthful subject since it allows the subject additional time to fabricate an explanation. An innocent subject would most likely respond with aggression and assert himself more. However, Ruben's body language remains the same and his voice lacks assertiveness. From these signs alone, the detectives are confident that Ruben was involved in the disappearance of Lonzi. They now just need to prove it. I had two different people mm. tell detectives that they saw your car over there yesterday. They saw my car up there yesterday. That bright orange car. <clears throat> it's no way. No. I mean, yesterday, I'm trying to think what we did, but... I'm just telling you what they said. They... I, I'm pretty sure people see my car all the time, but... Well, they said it was parked over there. Parked, parked, over. parked. Two different people said Where that. it's... About 100 feet from where it's at right now. It's no way. Well, if there is a way, I mean, don't... Don't get the way out of your head because trust me i know where my car has been okay yeah. i understand hold on listen to me before you get defensive you're gonna get me defensive mm -hmm. thing is you got two people that don't have a damn dog in the hunt uh -huh. okay they see an orange car yesterday and then now all of a sudden the police are around the same orange car that's back in their neighborhood yeah. they don't know what the hell's going on yeah okay this car here's a picture of it here's where it is it's parked it ain't dumped it ain't run up it ain't hidden uh -huh. it's just parked it's parked yeah so Mm. Don't get defensive with us. We're trying to make heads or tails with it. I can just tell you this. Those people saw that car yesterday. They might have seen it, but I guarantee they didn't see it over there. There's two different people and from two different residences uh, saying that... Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday. Thursday. So, I mean, you know, just... We've got to clear that up. Yesterday was Thursday. You're talking about not today. Today, what is today? Friday. Friday. Yeah. So as of when's the last Thursday, time you've been in that area? I sure as hell wasn't. Okay. There. Well then, no wait. Time. Okay. Then that's yeah. that. I no, was hold on. Hold on. When? When's that's your a, car that's a been cut in? through neighborhood? It <laughs> takes you over to San Jose. Yeah. Y'all never cut through there. Because that's we've the way cut, I came to your apartment. I passed we, by that road going to your San apartment. San Jose before, yeah. Well, I'm sure you've, you've that's not what I asked. Been, I'm not asking I've if you've driven on Santa Park, though. And as of yesterday, I guarantee you, because I told you the timeline where we were at. That's right. But I guarantee you that car was not part of it. That car stick out sore thumb is not even looking close to that. Asleep. That we're not there. When you put him in the car seat? Um, he, well, he was up. When I got to the, when we got to the gas station, I noticed he was asleep. But he was awake when you put him in the seat? Yeah. Did he walk to the car or did you carry him in the I car? I carried him to the car. Can I see her? Not yet. No. You will be able to though. Ruben hints that he may be thinking about legal counsel. This is a clear sign to detectives to ease the pressure to not push him towards making the decision to formally ask for legal counsel, as that would end the questioning and limit any additional potential evidence. The detectives will quickly come in to give Ruben reassurance. They need him to stay and don't want him to request a lawyer. Said that you want to talk to her. You wanted to talk to her. What's her name? She's getting interviewed right now. I oh. told you you can talk to her in a little bit. Okay. Look, you're not under arrest. You're not being detained. You came down here voluntarily, right? Because you want to help. Yeah. You got to understand in these cases, we're being just as direct and you can call it hard, whatever you want to call it. I understand. That's our job. We got to make sure everybody's telling us the truth. And if there's a discrepancy, we got to figure out what it is. We've got, there's probably 10 teams of two working this right now. Me and him are talking to you, 
There's two more talking to her. There's a bunch out in the neighborhood. You just got to understand it is what it is. Oh, no. You it's, know, the best thing we you got can do two, is be here helping us. We got two going out to talk to the biological dad, and they're going to be just as rough or however you want to word it to him. It's nothing personal against you. Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. We got to get to the bottom of this and find this child. They place emphasis on finding the missing child. He stays because he perceives that it will look suspicious if he decides otherwise. Clear enough. All right. So if you can just be patient, do you need more coffee, anything else? Uh, just run it through me. Okay. All right. Just be patient with us. Hang out. And how long before I can talk to her? I don't know. They're still interviewing her. Um, I'll bring her in here when they're done, okay? But I'm not, y'all can't sit in here and talk for hours. I don't want to talk. I just want to make sure. I just, I don't want to talk about this. I just, you just want, want to check on her. That's fine. I got no issues with that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I was thinking, um, I mean, for one, I was thinking about water, but I mean, if I can't help voluntarily, can I just go back to the house and you guys contact me? Ruben again wants to leave, but the detective immediately shuts it down and makes Ruben feel guilty for wanting to do so. The detective is adamant on Ruben staying because there is not enough evidence against Ruben at this point to link him with the disappearance of the missing child. You, like I said, you're not under arrest. I can't make you. I can't make you stay here, and and you can leave anytime you want to. Let me put this to you. If you ask me what I need. This investigation needs you right here. Yeah. Critical. I mean, right now, there's nothing more important short of finding that child than having you here. Mm-hmm. But if you leave, that's on you. I'm just telling you, to help this investigation, I need you right here. I understand. Like, I mean, I'd rather just you guys call me or whatever. I'm just telling you, if for me to say, hey, I need you, it, it takes away critical minutes from when that child needs medical care. For me to go get you and say, hey, I got a picture, look at this. Hey, I got some video, look at this. Show me your routes. I mean, I need you here. If you leave, you're killing this case. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm okay, just... if you need to nap, take a nap. I'll get a blanket. <laughs> You need to use a bathroom, walk in, get, get a bathroom. Note that the detective says Ruben will be walked to the bathroom if he needs to use it. But earlier in the interrogation, he was free to exit the room and use the bathroom freely. This is because the detectives have the right to arrest Ruben on the basis of child neglect, but they are saving that for when Ruben can no longer be convinced to stay. Ruben is under the illusion that leaving is his choice, when in fact, it's not. The arrest is only being delayed, so Ruben continues to feel that he is not a suspect and continues to talk. If you need to nap, take a nap i'll get a blanket if you need to use a bathroom walk in get, get a bathroom. if you need food i'll get your food i need you here though i'm just man this stuff is is nerve-wracking it's dude it's, hey, what about it for me this kid's not mine and it's i've got i've left my family to come find a kid that's, that's not mine that's why i said i wanted to talk to her first okay but well that's we're gonna do that <laughs> she's using the bathroom and everything but but dude i'm telling you right now you leave you will kill this case <laughs> i'm not trying to be funny no i'm not either because it's not Bro, this guy's literally just like goading him, dude. I love that. He's like, I don't give a fuck about this kid. This is called the I don't give a fuck about the kid technique. It's critical that you're this here. Is, this is a frustration line. You can't do me no good out searching. You can't do me no good out sleeping or being anywhere other than command central. I just want I, I want to talk to her like right right now. Okay, she's Otherwise, in the bathroom, dude. Sure. I can't go get her out of the bathroom. Walk the like if you're if you're a fucking murderer like why would you stay at that point you gotta be a real dumbass dude you know what i mean like what the fuck <laughs> he's basically like hey get out of here if you want to fucking you know make sure this case is done dead in the water you know we'll we'll have no way to fucking find the kid not to no this is a security i can bring her here i will do that okay because i'm i mean i'm ready i'm ready to just go give me five minutes and i'll get her here okay all right Lana will be brought in to see Ruben as she was being questioned in a different room. The detectives do this because they know Ruben wants to leave and their objective is to get him to stay without revealing his arrest. Since he requested to speak to Lana, they grant that request in the hopes that it'll shift his mind away from wanting to leave. Now, imagine this scenario. You have two children, and you just came home from your work shift after 2 a.m. in the morning, and the person that was last with your children, Reuben, has lost your 21-month-old baby. Imagine how you would act towards Reuben. Now, let's see how Lana reacts to this exact situation in real time. 
right, man. Look, I'm bringing her in because the Tennessee Detective Sullivan said that you want to leave. I'm going to do what I just told her. All right, listen to me before you start all that. Oh my God! Oh, they both did it. Okay, fuck them. That's over. It's a wrap. Oh, they did it together. They're in on it. No, no shot, dude. Okay, it's over. I need both y'all here. If you leave, it makes it a lot harder for us to find him. Are you listening to me? Yes. I need you here. Okay. I'll feed you. I'll give you drinks. Don't worry about that. I'm just. I'll do whatever I need to do. You're not point, locked down. I know. At this point, it, it seems like it's shifting more towards. Honestly, like if I'm if I'm looking at like I need a lawyer or something, bro. If you were a suspect, you, you, that door would be locked, and I'd be going at you a lot harder than this I have. Is, yeah, we. I mean, I'm ready to go. So, so, so bro, why are they doing this, dude? That's crazy. I mean, I know why, but like, they're like about the dude. Jacksonville, Florida is nuts, dude. They're so insane, dude. Florida cops are just wild. They like, they literally don't give a fuck. Like, remember how they almost fucked up the Dahlia DiPolito case? Because it's just like, whatever, it's Florida, dude, who cares, you know? We got gators outside the police station, they'll fucking bite your ass, you know? Doors wide open, brother. Like, what the fuck? That's a criminal, dude. That's like a child murderer. In your mind, you suspect that he murdered a child, and you're like, you got the door open. Like, well, what's happening? So you don't want to help. It's not Hold on one second. Can I talk to him? Can we, can we talk by ourselves for a second? That's fine. But I'm telling you, mm. I need you to drive me around and show me. If you don't want to help, then just tell me can you don't I want to help. Can I come with you? No, you can't no. come with us. Why? Because you weren't there. You're not going to control the investigation. We are. That's the way it is. If you want us to find them, we know what we're doing. I'm we're good at you. it. I'm 100% with you. No, you're not. I tell me you want to leave. Where? Call me. What's your pressing urgency to leave? Where is it you want to go? I'm ready to go back to the house. Do you have a job? Yeah. You can't go back to the house. The house is locked down. It's a crime scene. Well, then, I, I mean, I can go other places, but I'm just... But why would you not want to be here to help? I don't understand that. That, that. That's just... just that this, blows this my mind. Just talk to him for a second. Yeah, talk to him. The way they tried to twist him. What's up? Lana has just lost her 21-month-year-old son in a possible child abduction. Yet, her pressing matter to disclose to Ruben after the detective gives him privacy is, please don't leave me, Ruben. Her indifference towards the situation is a confusing sign to the detectives, but it would have placed her as a suspect or accomplice. It's important to note that- He's literally not free to go. They know he's not free to go. They're just baiting him. Lana during this time had a prescription for Xanax, a medication for anxiety. Users report feeling calm due to its sedating effect. This could have explained Lana's unusual demeanor, but it's still unusual for a mother to be this calm despite being on prescription Xanax. I'm ready to go. You can go. You're not. You're not under arrest in any way, shape, or form. The last one seen with him was me. I don't like this shit any more than you do. But when I'm sitting there trying to help out, cooperating with everything, I'm the ones that call the a cop. I didn't fucking wait at all. But yet, the way he just tried to twist that shit on me, I'm like, come on now, cut the bullshit. We were asleep the whole fucking day, pretty much. But I'm like, I don't, I don't have time for that. I'd rather, if you're gonna twist it and take it down that route, and you're telling me pretty much I'm, without saying it, suspect, well then I think I just need to go and get a fucking lawyer. Ruben is acting for the surveillance footage and audio recording. However, Lana thinks they are in private and speaks her true thoughts in this brief encounter. Oh no. This will be confirmed later on. Oh no. Because it's bullshit. That's why I'm saying I'm ready to go. So is that what I needed you to not talk to him further? I'm ready to go. I cooperated as much as possible, not saying fuck him. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. You got my number, you got every fucking contact. Maybe we I'm just ready to go. Maybe I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Well, I'm going, if you leave, I'm leaving. Come on. Stay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. We're just going to get an attorney. And deal with it there. So, I'm going. I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Stay near our phones. They got your phone. Yeah. I just need, and I need to check on my leg. Um, I'm gonna call my mom and stuff first. That's not what I'm asking. Are you staying here? 
Right leaving. this I'll second. Out, yeah, right way. this second I'm leaving, but I'm going to get my mom to bring me back up here. Yeah, we're keeping your phone. Oh, The detectives will convince them to stay, and both will be back sometime Wait, before really? they are back under surveillance. Wait, they convinced them without even arresting them? That's crazy. Dude, people in Florida are just built differently, dude. The guy was like, right. I mean, he is, he's correct in his assumption that he's like a suspect in this. And they were still able, those hogs were still able to fucking convince them? What a dumbass, dude. Surveillance. Ruben tells Lana to be aware that the interrogation rooms are recorded through video and audio. You will see a noticeable shift in Lana's behavior when they come back inside now that she is aware to stay on guard. You don't want anything to drink? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Do you want to sit in the other room? No, we're fixing to use the other room. Okay, good. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. God, dude, people for people Florida criminals are extra dumb. Yeah. I didn't want to process my thoughts. He brought me through the other way. It was right around right around seven o'clock. And the store went open, so he brought me this one. Okay. But I just happened to glance up at the fucking TV and that shit was on. Yeah. He was in that little yellow with his cut off. I just like broke down. I'm like, shit is. <laughs> oh, he's fucking. Oh, dude, he's hamming it, dude. Look at this. Oh, he brought on the waterworks, dude. Very Ruben good. is acting for the camera here. Both of them are cognizant of the fact that they are being recorded and listened to, so they are saying everything that they think the detectives would expect to hear if they were innocent. The emotion Ruben shows here for a brief moment is likely genuine, but it is directed at his regret for what he did to the boy, rather than the boy himself. Bro, oh, this is called the fucking command performance technique. Actually, detail may very well be responsible for identifying where a missing child is. Lana states she does not care who took the child and ridicules the police for focusing on that instead of bringing back Lonzi. She does not display typical behavior of a mother. Yo, this is literally the fucking hamburger guy, or the hot dog guy in the car. We're all trying to find out who did this. And, and guess what? Like, maybe we should just, you know, uh, you know, spank him in the butt and just kind of let him go after he gets a couple of these dress shirts. You know what I mean? I think you should leave is the fucking uh, reference to the meme. We should probably spank his bare ass. Like, that's what she's doing here. I mean, here, I, I fucking have to show it to you now. Is everyone okay? What happened? Did anyone see? Someone drove a hot dog shaped car <laughs> through the window. Driver's gone. <laughs> Somebody call the cops. We need to find that driver. They could have killed someone. Whose car is this? Yeah, come on! Whoever did this, just confess! We promise we won't be mad! What? Well, close our eyes, just take your car and get out of here! Sir, that's- That's literally verbatim what she just said. Like, verbatim. He's like, come on, I don't care who did this, you know? That's- it's a freebie, we're gonna call it a mulligan. 
We just want to find the kid. There, who's distraught that her child has gone missing. Oh, like that shit when he got Sorry about being truthful. He said something about a her. Who you get it from? Being truthful with your ex. I'm truthful with your ex. Like, no, Bitch, I'm not telling you. That ain't got this nothing person, to do with this my kid. This motherfucker stays right. No, it has nothing to do. With it. Exactly. Except right. for when I do get out, this motherfucker gonna come right at my head. <laughs> <laughs> It's fascinating to see Ruben criticize the detective for his questions about where he got his drugs from. Ruben thinks he outsmarted the detective, but he fails to realize that the detective's intention was only to establish that Ruben solicits illegal drugs for- Dude, this guy is such a fucking idiot, dude. One, you're black in Florida, okay? You're talking to detectives about fucking drugs. They, like, you're gonna go to jail regardless. You know what I mean? Like, what did you think was gonna happen? You know what I mean? Like, you're definitely going to jail. Why would you fucking do this? I mean, luckily he did, because, you know, he's a fucking psycho. But also, uh, and he's now arrested, I hope. But also, at the same time, it's like, what did you think was going to happen? You think, like, you think there's a double jeopardy case when it's like, oh, yeah, dude, you did. How is being black relevant? Why is being black relevant? Are you, you're not American, I, I suspect. We're talking about the interaction. Anti-DDoS. We're talking about the interaction with a, a, a black person with police officers in the state of Florida. I guess the check mark does not absolve you from recognizing the racial injustices that are prominent in the United States in the criminal justice system. Black, yeah, he's black in Florida, and the missing kid is white, too. So, that's like, there's a double whammy. You got anything else? I mean, this usually is just asking for clarity. Usually that, uh, you know, comes with a, with a double down, but I'm glad that he didn't do that. For the purposes of demonstrating child neglect, and the detective succeeded in this. Let's fucking ride around. What the fuck is this doing? Yeah, no, I feel like I should be doing Don't this sit there and play these fucking games and try to say, oh, somebody saw the fucking car there. You fucking lying. These motherfuckers is on. Because unless it's fucking being rolled by itself, we were asleep. The detectives have just seen this video footage. This surveillance footage shows Ruben's car driving one way. And then minutes later, Ruben is seen running the opposite way. Ruben was only seen running in the opposite direction of the car. If Ruben was truthful about his story, we would have seen him run towards the same direction of the car first, and then we would see him run back towards his home. At this point, detectives think that Ruben- Bro, he's so dumb, dude. I swear, Florida, Florida criminals just hit different, dude. It's so dumb. And drove the car himself to the location and was later found, and then ran back to his apartment on foot. They don't let Ruben know of their evidence because he would change his story in order to make this piece of evidence work. Instead, they begin establishing a clear route of both the car and his whereabouts at the time of the car theft. No, 83 is Cold King. Cold King, yeah, sorry. Huh? No, we're, we're just we're getting video and stuff pulled right now, so we're trying to... This is why we need you here, because I need that. Are you sure that car went left? Or could it have gone right? Dude, these are the loudest fucking chairs in America. The apartment? Mm hmm The thing went left. Alright. This. Which one's your apartment? Alright, you come in. Y'all are like right here? Right there. You're back there? Mm -hmm. This building right there. Okay. Yeah. How far up did you one. run? The mailbox is here. I was about there mm -hmm. when it went left. Mm -hmm. I got all the way up here. So you and made it all the way to the front? I didn't did see you look out on Old Kings? I didn't see no car. But did you look out here? That's what I'm saying. I came all the way to the front. I didn't see anything. I yeah. didn't see You looked left and right. You didn't see anything. And I came back, you know. Just down the main <sighs> drag there, too? Just, no, it was just like right around here. But you, you there, ran down the same way the car went I and ran, ran back. I kind of stopped a little bit. Like mm -hmm. I said, I thought I was in a lot better shape than what the fuck I was. <laughs> yeah, me, okay. me too. But you didn't see the car turn here I didn't see it or turn I here. Didn't see. We're just trying to get an exact route. Yeah, well, that that's what I'm went. trying to think too. Because we got to do what subdivision it might have been in. Well, know, the patrol officer's got to do yeah. foot searches yeah. of every backyard. 
if we can figure out the route the car took. Yeah. You yeah, follow I mean, me? All I see him go left. Because yeah, if he's mobile, which you said he is, yeah, if he this is. person, normally when this happens, and honestly it happens more often than it should, when someone steals a car and there's a baby in the back, they normally bail out and haul ass and leave the baby there. It happens all the time, dude. Because it freaks him out. Him so him common. It and just leave the baby. But if he's mobile and he could have gotten out, that's why we got to check these backyards. He's no way he got that far if he got out. He was secure. Actually, I take it back. It's fucking Florida. I bet it is common. I bet fucking criminals in Florida literally fucking rob cars and they're like, oh shit, there's a baby in it. In the seat. He was in the seat. Secured. I mean, yeah. click, click, yeah. whatever the. Yeah. And he's not. He's not able to do that, right? He's not able to get out of it. He doesn't have the next thing. No, I've never seen it. him get out of it by himself. But I mean, not to be just stressed or. I think it was just the seat, but I think I was seeing him get up. But you yeah. said he was asleep, right? He was asleep. When you said you heard the car leaving, was it like hauling ass? No. Parking tires. I just heard. heard it. it seemed like the car was taking off. I went down it, and. I'm looking at it going out. I ran towards it and. But it wasn't hauling ass. It wasn't barking tires or anything. It was, I mean, it was going fast enough. It wasn't no screech or anything. I guess that's it for right now. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. The detective asks Ruben about his clothing and inquires into whether he was wearing his current outfit the entire time prior to Lonzi going missing. Ruben says he did not change his clothes, but the detective showed him this video. This is Ruben in a black tank top two hours before Lonzi went missing. Ruben has now knowingly given false information to law enforcement during an investigation, which he can be arrested for. He asks for a lawyer what? and stops cooperating with police. However, he should have taken this approach from the beginning, as he already Bro, this guy thinks like cops arrest for. <laughs> I love this video. This is actually a good JCS inspired video in comparison to a lot of other ones. But like. I don't know if this guy's from America or not, but like cops are trigger happy, but like. They're not going to be like, oh, you lied to us. You had a different shirt. You're under arrest. <laughs> like. For obstruction of justice. <laughs> he incriminated himself and is now under arrest for lying to police during an investigation and child neglect. His possessions are collected and he is now forced to stay here. He has the right to remain silent and the right to counsel, but he will willingly- Wait, did they arrest him because he fucking told a lie about his shirt? No shot. No screech or anything. I guess that's it for right now. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. The detective asks Ruben about his clothing and inquires into whether he was wearing his current outfit the entire time prior to Lonzi going oh, he missing. Requested Ruben camp. says he did not change his clothes, but the detective showed him this video. This is Ruben in a black tank top two hours before Lonzi went missing. Ruben has now knowingly given false information to law enforcement during an investigation, which he can be arrested for. He asks for a lawyer and stops. Oh, that's why they fucking arrested him. Okay, yeah cooperating with police however he should have taken this approach from the beginning as he already incriminated himself and is now under arrest for lying to police during an investigation and child neglect his possessions are collected and he is now forced to stay here he has the right to remain silent and the right to counsel but he will willingly give up those rights in the name of knowing what's going on you just asked me what was going on and i told you that you asked for an attorney bro this dude had this dude had entire cities worth of Shit in his pockets. What a loot goblin, dude. Do you want to talk about this or not? I want to talk about it. Okay. I don't know what's going on. All right. Well, then. I'm trying to cooperate from the jump. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to advise you of your rights. I'm going to let you sign the form. If you want to talk about it and you want to ask me questions, I'll answer questions. If you don't, we're right back where we were. You good with that? Good. Let me get the form. Detectives read Ruben his Miranda rights again since Ruben wants to voluntarily talk about the investigation. He agrees. Ruben continues to give detectives details about what he did that day prior to Lonzi going missing. Things are conveniently left Dumb out man. until the detectives question him with evidence. Dumb man. Get some video here that you might be able to help us with. This is the major confrontation that catches Ruben off guard. The detectives are about to show him this video. Keep in mind, from where this surveillance footage was taken, Ruben's home is to the right. Here. The car was found to the left. Here. 
Ruben has told the detectives that he first ran after the car and then came back home to call 911. What we should see if Ruben is telling the truth is the car going towards the left and then Ruben going towards the left after the car, then shortly after, Ruben coming back towards the right. However, in this video footage, Ruben was not seen running after the car. He was just seen running back home nine minutes after the car was seen going to the left. This is a f dude. This is the stupidest fucking thing you could have ever done, dude. Like, you know, aside from the fucking child murder, but like he did not look. He he thought this was so perfect course because Ruben was the driver of the car. He drove the car to the spot and ran back home. This evidence is enough to sabotage Ruben's entire story about the car being stolen and his timeline. You are about to witness what happens when a fabricator is faced with hard evidence. We got some video here that you might be able to help us with. You see that? This is your apartment complex. Okay. This is your entrance. This is actually 152 real time. Okay. Right. Caught in 144p, dude. Caught in 4p. It's your car. Now, we're in the process of getting this enhanced and blown up, so it'll be a little easier. <laughs> yeah, I say for, it's just 4p, to be honest. This is a 4p. It's just going to take a little bit. So you didn't see it lighting up? I see it lighting up. That's your car. There's no doubt about that. It's got black hood. Okay, so it's leaving. Now, I've watched this over and over and over and over and over mm -hmm. again. And I never see you come up. You never see me come up. Never see you come up. I do, however, see you walking back. Uh -huh. Through the grass. Mm -hmm. Well, I see you walking back through the grass. Nine minutes later. I went out through the grass. No, nine minutes later. What's that? Nine minutes later. Ruben is disoriented and has no idea what he can say to try and talk his way out of this one. He repeats what was said, asks questions instead of giving answers, and seeks approval with his statements. These are all signs of a dishonest suspect. That's your car. There's no doubt about that. It's got black hood. Okay, so it's leaving. Now, I've watched this over and over and over and over and over mm -hmm. again, and I never see you come up. You never see me come up. Never see you come up. I do, however, see you walking back. I came through the grass. Mm -hmm. Well, I see you walking back through the grass. Nine minutes later. I went out through the grass. No, nine minutes later. What's that? Nine minutes later. No, I went out through the grass. No, but you're coming back nine minutes later when you're saying you're, sh you're calling 911. When I was saying I was calling. Well, according to you, you're... You called me. When I left, I came out through here. Well, you told us that you ran up the road. I ran up and I was on this side. Well, you should be when on I there. When I came back, I came right back through the same spot, through the grass and stuff. Okay, well, I see you walk back. But what I'm telling you is I see you walk back nine minutes later. After this car leaves. But it's I'm not making that up. It's on video. No, I don't think it was that long. <laughs> Cops like, hey, listen, we make shit up all the time. <laughs> This is not one of those instances, brother. You fucking, you're fucking caught in 4P. <laughs> yep, it's right there. Oh, we're telling, telling you it's that long. It's on the video. It's on the clock. I'm not, I'm not just pulling that out of my ass. It's on the clock. You walk back nine minutes later. You could have said he ran behind the car. Really, dude? He could have said he ran at the speed of the car, but also he was running so fast that the camera didn't catch him, really? At that point, he should have just been like, yeah, you, you can't see me because I'm faster than the speed of light. Yeah, this camera is not good enough to be, to catch me. I'm literally faster than the speed of light, dude. And I should have been right up in here going out. But you aren't. But you are walking back. And that's the time. Go back to where you can actually, can you show me? Yeah, where you walk back? Yeah. yeah. 
So here's, this is where I, I get a little concerned. Um, not really concerned, just I need you to help me explain. There. That's you cooking it back to the apartment. Oh, they're showing him the walk of shame too. All right. So that is nine minutes after your vehicle left. And that's right in line with the phone. Damn, dude. Nine minutes before the top of the hour, too. Or there's a 60-second ad break. Because that's what we do at the top of the hours. We're on 60-second ad breaks. But fear not. If you'd like to no longer see the ads, if you want to have free broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5, or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime. Um... Or you can use an ad block or a VPN, but Twitch Prime is free. Here is the ad break now. Let's keep phone call being made to our dispatcher. So what time the, time. That, the, the real times are, mm. your vehicle leaves out of there at 2.06 oh. in 53 seconds, okay? I love you when people lose their shit. You walk back at 2.15 and 34 seconds, so that's nine minutes, give or take a few seconds. I love when I do segues and people lose their fucking minds. It's, it makes me so happy. Nine minutes of a long time. It took nine minutes to walk from where that car was to your apartment. It's six Thank tenths you, Blue of a mile. Ocean event. The average person can walk a mile in thirteen or fourteen minutes. Six tenths is half. So what's half of thirteen? Fourteen. You called nine one one at two seventeen. Right. Like the first phone. The first phone, which is two minutes after you get back, mm -hmm. all right? So there's a two minutes discrepancy there, and then you call back again when you get your other phone working at 219. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know what we're missing still? No, I mean, right, and we're missing what? You're you right leaving. Then? Doesn't seem like you're too happy. You say your ads are scum and so are you. The ad break isn't working for me, dude. It's not always gonna run the ad, okay? Like, sometimes you get lucky. On foot. I honestly didn't see that. No, that's what I'm saying. You talk cut through. No, but you told us, and we. But if you cut through, I'll give you that. Let's say you cut through, and it's not on there. Why is there a nine different nine minute discrepancy? The detectives have just asked him about the nine minute discrepancy for the record. So the defense team is not able to come up with an explanation during the prosecution. Ruben's only explanation is that it didn't feel that long and that his mind was racing. This is important as it is the most important piece of evidence to show that Ruben is fabricating the story about the car being stolen. And he now admitted to not having a feasible explanation for the nine minutes. I don't know, my mind just racing, everything going on. But where'd you go for nine minutes? I mean, I was right there at Old King. For nine minutes? No, I didn't think it was that long. Well, let's sit here for nine minutes I really and not say anything. Long. No, we don't have to do that. Well, because that's a long that's time. A long time. Nine minutes is a long time. Um, we'll come back to that. The detectives ask Ruben about an area of town he was found in that Ruben has not mentioned yet. He discloses that he was going to get some illegal drugs, so he left it out earlier. Can I, can I ask you why? Oh, this guy's one step away from be just being like, yeah, I was going to go murder someone else with my illegal weapon that I have. But I thought not to. Because I murdered my child instead. I mean, fuck up! Oh! He's literally like, dude, I'm, I'm doing drugs. Officers, I'm doing drugs and I'm selling them. I'm buying drugs and I'm selling them. This is called giving the officers more fucking information to incriminate yourself technique. It's very effective. We're hearing about this now at, I mean, at 3 p.m. Awesome. We're, uh, awesome. we're, we're 12 hours. We should have heard this 12 hours ago. Awesome. And then I went through your story probably half a dozen times now, awesome. and I asked for your timeline to it's show you. What? Hmm. What'd you say? It's all what? Something dealing with drugs, and I do not want to put that. In Dude, it. I don't know how many times I got to tell you this. I don't. I really don't care. It's illegal. You know that. I know that. I'm not worried about your dope. I'm worried about finding this little boy. You're not dealing drugs in front of me in my person where I've got to act on that. That's not our concern. You know, hmm. a kid is worth. I don't give a damn if you got a truckload. 
sick. It's legal to sell drugs unless it's in front of cops, apparently. Of cocaine. I don't care about it. This kid is worth a thousand truckloads of cocaine, in my opinion. <laughs> let's let's why don't you this is called see look you you don't understand if you're not from florida you don't get this he's saying like this kid's worth a truckload of cocaine because cocaine is very devalued in miami which is a cocaine capital of the world that's why that's the only reason there's a big you know you see, they always judge kids on how many trucks of cocaine they're worth on. Yeah. As we're getting our, as we're doing our job, we're finding out stuff, and then you tell us. Just to show me you're not full of shit, tell me from when you dropped her off, every fucking place you went to that you haven't told us, including the place you haven't told us. I don't care if it's a blur. Okay. I'm beyond all the blur because I've been up just as long as you have. Well, I sat back and thought about it. I mean, but it's, um, let me try to backtrack and go. Just start when I left off when I met up with Adam. The detectives will now ramp up the pressure in hopes of getting a confession. They go in circles trying to establish a new timeline, and Ruben keeps attempting to mislead them. It's just 1233 at midnight, 1233. So, I mean, when I left the gas, it's, it's two miles up the road. Yeah, that's right. still, I mean, but that, he's talking about 152. That's almost two hours later. That was, oh, yeah, that was, what, hold on, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, what, you, what are you trying to say, a time frame? What? That's what we've been trying to do the whole time that's we've been I'm, sitting I'm in here. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, well, I'm, I, I can't, I I've got, I'm getting overloaded with so much new information I should have heard 12 hours ago. Yeah. I don't know what the, what's bullshit. All of it's bullshit to me. What is that? Hmm? What is that? Uh, can I talk to her? Hmm. No. <laughs> You said, uh, can I talk to her? No. I mean, if she has to talk to you, then I'll probably let her, but I can't let ask. you talk to her because you're under arrest. I mean, I'm just going to ask her if she could just come here and talk. What do you want to talk to her about? What do you want to talk to her about? What do you want to talk to her about? I had a cigarette. I want to talk to her. You want to tell me? I want to talk to her. I know, but do you want to tell me first? I can see it on you, bro. I can, I can see it's tearing you up. It's eating you up, and I, I can understand why. I can ask her if she wants to talk to you. I can't make her talk to you. You can ask her. Just ask her for me real quick, please. I subscribed until June 2022, but I didn't appear. Right. Yeah. 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 The detectives are about to bring Lana back in to confront Ruben after telling her that they think Ruben is responsible for the missing child. They hope this confrontation will get Ruben to confess. Alright, look. No physical contact. It's guys sit on the other side of the table. I'm going to give you about two minutes. Okay, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm an insult for saying this, but like... Is there even a minor percentage chance that like she doesn't play a role in this like did, is this yet another fucking instance where she got away with where like the the woman got away with the uh, fucking the murder that the husband committed because like they haven't arrested her and i'm confused as to why What's going on, Ruben? I just want an 
answer this one and I'm not kidding. This is the first of several times that Lana refers to her son, Lonzi, as my kid. She avoids saying his name. This may be a form of dissociating from Lonzi because she knows he's already dead. However, detectives cannot be sure of this since there is no evidence to support this claim at this point. What we can be sure of though is that given the circumstances, Lana's behavior is strange. She has just been told that Ruben is the person responsible for her son's disappearance, yet she still seems too composed. <laughs> Okay, did what? They don't even know if the kid's like kidnapped or murdered. They don't know anything. So why is he even saying that? What a fucking idiot, dude. Did what? You're not listening? I am listening. I ate curry chicken as I always do. Dude, I've been fucking using this new... Chat, I'm not saying did what is in like uh, some people who are in the chat saying pay attention. Like, what do you think? I don't know what the crime is here. Are you fucking stupid? We've been watching this video for 51 minutes. No, I'm saying like did what to him? I'm asking did what? Why would you ask a question like that to your wife? Okay. When you don't know what the kid's situation is. Okay. That's what I mean. Cops are uh, currently arresting him because he did child endangerment. Doing drugs next to a kid. Oh, I've been putting a new hot sauce in my curry. It's fucking fire, but it makes me sweat, dude. It is. It is really spicy. That's why my nose is like runny. The detective is about to attempt what's known as the ego up technique. It's a common interrogation tactic that is used after subjecting the suspect to exhausting pressure. It works because after breaking down the confidence of the suspect for several hours, the confession is seen as a way to rebuild self-respect in a suspect who feels defeated. The detective will then follow up with the alternative question by providing Ruben with an alternative scenario that is more socially acceptable but still infers guilt, such as an accident, in hopes of getting a confession. Ruben, I told you, I don't think you're a cold-blooded killer. I don't think you're a kidnapper. I think something happened, and you freaked out, and I think you know where he is. And I think you're the only one that can bring her any kind of peace whatsoever. But if you're not willing to do that, that's on you, man. I understand you're scared. Sometimes we do things and we're... Chad, this is completely unrelated. I have to pause. I went to go pee. And you can't really tell from here, but my face is so red right now. Like my cheeks and stuff. And I don't know if it's because I have now like a new allergy to cinnamon or something. Because I tried cinnamon for the first time. I put cinnamon in this iteration of my chicken. And it's really strange. I'm sweating too. Pop the molly. I'm sweating. Woo! Anyway, let's keep going. We're scared to make it right, but we still got to be men and make it right. Okay, whatever it is, you know, good, bad, in the middle, you know, I don't, I'm just, 
want to know if my kid's coming back to me, how I'm going to get him back. <laughs> and what I need to set my mentality up, whether it be good or bad. That's it. Ruben, you can ask this man right here. I've even pissed them off by telling them I don't I don't think that you would hurt my kid. I've, have I not told y'all that? That mm -hmm. I didn't think he would harm my kid. Mm -hmm. I don't think that he did anything with my kid. Did you guys not? The other guy got pissed, so pissed he got up and walked off away from me. You know what? I'm not against you, Ruben. I don't, I'm, I'm not. Am I against the man? Mm -hmm. I'm really not. To the point where I've made them mad, I'm not against you. And, I mean, they haven't tried to put me against you, per se, but just, you know, things. I just said I want to see you. And that's fine. Yes. What did I... Chat, it's not a fucking sauce, dude. I literally make my own fucking curry. Okay? Not a sauce. I use, like, regular curry, whichever one you have. I, uh, you can use whatever the fuck you want. Coriander, turmeric. Today, I didn't have turmeric, so I wanted to put something, like, a little, um... What's the word for it? I wanted to put something. No, there's like people who are fucking freaking out in the ch uh, chat about it. I used cinnamon instead of turmeric because I ran out of turmeric. Okay. Because uh, it, it has like a similar sweet sensation to it as a spice. I just told the man outside that took me to smoke a cigarette that I felt like you want me I needed to to you look me in my face and talk to me let's go let's go over it Ruben mm -hmm. right. because I don't want her thinking that I'm making all this up all right he told me he wasn't honest in the beginning he, told he me wasn't that. honest through most of it the car leaves at 2 15 he's walking back that's nine minutes almost ten minutes Okay. You left the entire part out about being over in Southside. For whatever reason, I don't know. You lied about the text messages with the girl that you're going to buy dope from. You can tell me you you can tell me that it was a mistake or that your phone had a glitch, but I don't believe it because it's all right here. I got your text messages. But at two six fifty three, the vehicle's pulling out of the complex on video. So you can't dispute that. Okay. Do you see an issue with that? With those times? I'm saying where were you? Basically at that time. At 207 you say okay. You say okay. And then it's 10 minutes later before you call 911. I mean, that's the most damning piece of evidence you need. Like, homie's child is, like, gone in a wild kidnapping, and it takes 10 minutes to call 911. It's over. Like, at that point, it's like, yeah, you're going to jail, dude. Sorry. Like, he, they don't really need anything else out, out, out of that, like, outside of that. Before you call her. 10 minutes, bro. Before she calls me. 10 minutes. No, I'm just saying before you text her and tell her to get a ride. Man, why does he keep fucking... Oh. I was going to say, why does he keep sniffing? But I know why he keeps sniffing. Ten minutes is a long damn time. It's a long time. I didn't think it was that long. I know you didn't. But it was. And you ain't on that video chasing that car. I went out there. No, you didn't. I did. You looked at the video, Ruben. I, seen I video showed you the video. And I didn't see much on it. You saw the car leaving and you saw yourself walking back leaving. because I got you saying so. It right like in this it room, you said, like yeah, it. that's me. And you said, I yeah, that's I'm the car. Sure it's me. It yeah. looks like and I'm pretty sure it's you too. That time and I'm night, pretty sure it's that car. Out there, I don't know. At that time of night, maybe it's a fucking Martian came down and did it. Well, if you said it, It's you a said what if all day long. It is what it is. It's what's on the fucking video screen. It's a Martian, but if you believe so, that's on you. If I believe so, it's on me. If I believe that's you walking back, if I believe you killed that child and did something with him, that's on me. You're damn right it's on me. I believe it. She's going to believe it. She may sit here and tell you I don't believe it, but I promise you after she sees all our evidence, she's going to, and I don't believe you. I think you're a fucking liar.
come on, you're done. You're out. Sorry for what you meant to do. No, you should be sorry for what you did. Not the other end of this. You should be sorry because you can finish this. You can bring her son back, and you won't. You're a freaking coward, dude. What are we still doing here? I'm still working. You're under arrest. You ain't got nowhere to go, so sit tight. You can sit here all day long. Who do you want to talk to? You're done. You just talk to her. Okay, that's fine. But no, I'm not going to bring you one. When you go to jail, you can call one and get one. Okay? I was still talking to him, but he didn't talk to him no more. Please. I mean, I did it. Come here and have her talk to me. Don't sugarcoat around. This shit is serious. It's She's, not, you know what? She loves you too much. I know. She's going to believe whatever you say. No, fuck what I say. You if, should, if you miss, I tell you right now, you miss your opportunity to tell her how to get her kids back. In the other direction, tell her to come over and fucking tell me that she believes that I fucking did that. Nope. I believe you did it. Don't matter what she it. thinks. He believes it too. I be, huh? I know. He believes it too. I believe video. I believe science. I don't believe people. I don't believe people that lied to me 13 hours later when we should have had something to... She, why don't you have her come in here and not... Because you know what? She's not the police. She's she, already shown me that she's, she's not credible. You think she's one person? No, I'll tell you what she should have done. I'll tell you what she should have done. She should have jumped through here and ripped your fucking eyes out. Wouldn't do it. Because, you know what? I'll let her do that. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure you will. I mean, really, bring her in there. If it's really... You know it's that important. Come in here and let me talk to her, though. Can she come over here and actually talk to me? Please. What the fuck? What? Just, where is he, Ruben? I, I, I swear to you, I did. I fucking did a lot of things, but I did not do that shit. I did. I still don't, I mean, that's just, it's not I'm fucking just, solving anything. It, I mean, it's not, I know it's not. But I mean, I want, that's it. all I, no, that's all I want to know is just where my kid is. That's it. I don't give I a fuck that. who done it or you how he got there. That. I just want to know where my you kid think is. I know that. And you're the only other, you're the only person that can give me any kind of answers. You really, just. So you think I know that then? If you do, you, I mean, they're saying you do. And they're saying you do. I don't know what else to. F There's no one here for me to fucking ask. There's no one else. There ain't no one here. There's no one else for me to ask where he is. I mean, you're, you know. I just want to know where he is. That's it. I don't want to know detail. I just, just. Where is he? I'll go get him my fucking self and cut all this goddamn bullshit out. Just. It is bullshit. All this is bullshit. These people are going to try and tell me that I that they don't know if I don't know where he is. Bitch, I don't know where my kid is. All I want is my work. fucking kid. Chill out. That's it. I'm tired of chilling out. I have held myself and held myself and held myself. Now I want my goddamn kid back. That's it. Plain and fucking simple. I could literally take this chair and fucking... Chad, do we still think she's acting? Or is she like totally in on it? Or is she not in on it? And she's like actually devastated. Throw it around this room a thousand times and it's not gonna do me no good. I want my fucking kid, Ruben. I want my kid back. If it was you would want them. No, I would, man. You take it on fucking. Man, I, I just, I, I want him back. I want him oh back. Oh my I don't God. Care what I have to do, I just, I want my, my fucking kid back. ear lobes, dude. Plain and fucking simple. I'm not allowed to touch you. They're standing right there watching. I'm not allowed to fucking touch you. Me and you. It's me and you. Fuck these people. Fuck everyone else. Where is my kid? If you had to guess, where would you say? Where would you go look right now? If me and you were on foot, where would you go? I told you where my guess was. Where? Woods would be obviously not. That was my initial guess. Mine too, but that's not where he is. If you had to go right now, where would you look? Where would we go look if we were out looking? You don't know. It's, it's, it's. Well, that's the only thing that I can I can think of. I don't know. I'm not done talking to him yet. We're done. I'm He's not. I'm not. I just. 
this if this is the obviously I'm no offense, but you guys ain't giving me no answers. This is the person y'all say got some. I'm not leaving until he gives me a fucking answer. I want to. I he won't give it to you. Bro, I feel like he's he's like, like what the fuck, dude? You just you're just gonna fucking rat me out like this? Like I thought we were in this together. I thought we were ride or die. Now you're like fucking calling me out. Is I feel like there's a bus that just came and I'm under it because you threw me under it, dude. Oh, no, 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 let's not go there. No, no, no. Where's her son? I'm telling you. Where's her son? If you want 30 seconds, you got 29, I'm 28. Not to, I'm not trying to tell you to wait me out. That's not the case. I'm not trying to fucking say, give me some commissary money. Tell her where her son's at. Nothing. I'm just trying to say, just move the fuck on. I'm trying to tell you I didn't do it. Shit doesn't look right, but. I didn't do it, but shit doesn't look right. It doesn't. Move on. That's what he's telling you. Really? Come on, let's go. What the that's fuck? A, that's I'm not trying to manipulate you. I'm not trying to keep you on. Move I on. Tell you I, I love you, but you had your chance. Why can't you just fucking tell you what? What the fuck? I don't know. Tell me any fucking thing. Uh oh. Chat, you guys were being incels. Me, on the other hand, I always knew that she was innocent. My beautiful queen was always innocent. And here you were, a bunch of fucking incels. You thought she was totally guilty because she's a woman. Guilty of being a woman, dude. Wow. Seems like she's innocent as hell, dude. You let everybody down, man. You want to keep letting everybody else down on this? I want my fucking kid back. Plain and simple. I just, I want it back. I want him back. I don't give a fuck. She said, I want it back? What the fuck? Bro, this person is a psycho, dude. Regardless, just arrest her just in case, honestly. Like, that's actually a vibe check failure uh, of, of critical, critical magnitude. When you refer to your fucking possibly dead child as it, it's like, nope. That's going to be a no for me, dude. That's going to be a no for me. You're going to jail. Look nasty as it sounds whatever if there is something that you fucked up with made mistakes whatever i'm the only fucking per person that can push that i'm the only person that can push that to to do whatever to you ruben wait what does she think does she think that's how the legal system works where like if the mom says it's okay you could just like murder a kid like that's not how that works dude No, nah, it's still a crime, dude. In Florida, I swear to God, dude. Just let me know something, and I don't give a fuck about the rest of it. Just my kid. That's it. Just my kid. What's his name? What? Little kid? Hmm? Yeah. That's who he is? Let's, let's name him, okay? He's not your fucking kid. He's your son. Yeah, he is. Even the detective gets uncomfortable that long. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, now I know. Now I know why this is like two hours long, bro. This is insanity, dude. This has fucking more twists and turns than a Bollywood soap opera, dude. The detective just is like... The detective basically is just like, What's up, dude? What's your fucking kid's name? Finally, some fucking vibe checking going on at the goddamn Jacksonville Police Department, okay? These guys, they only fucking vibe check on the streets. It's not good. Anna does not name her kid and confronts her about it. However, even after this, she still does not say his name. I just... What? I just want him back, Ruben. I want to know if my kid is fine. I want to know. I want him in my arm. Oh, shit. She still hasn't said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is. Oh, dude. That's a vibe check failure. I can't believe you guys thought she was innocent, dude. What a bunch of fucking simps, dude. Imagine thinking she's innocent. Literally, this is what's wrong with you guys. Okay. I was always aware that she was guilty. You guys were like constantly like, oh, that's my queen. She's so innocent. Me, on the other hand, I was always like, that's a guilty person, okay? 
doesn't matter what their sex is. I don't care. Like that's guilty because you know, justice is blind. whether he not be fine or he not I just want to hold I want to hold my son that's it they keep going in circles attempting to get a confession out of Ruben but it never works they attempt to get a confession once more through a new detective I haven't been introduced. Oh, my name is uh, Detective Chisholm. Jim Smith. Jimothy. Been a long day. I've been out doing a lot of stuff all day myself. Okay, so I'm a little bit tired. My name is Jim Jebediah Smith. Story and does not confess. Well, Everybody in this building would like this to be done, Ruben. Everybody in this building would like this to be done. What did you say? I really don't want to talk. It's just we're at this point where there's nothing to be said. So. You're right. You lied as much as you can lie. There's nothing more you can lie about. Damn, they said he's a Weasley little liar, dude. Ruben expresses he doesn't want to talk, which he should have from the get-go since he would not have incriminated himself. However, he is placed in handcuffs and taken to the Duval County Jail on the basis of child neglect and lying to police. After Ruben's arrest, Lana's involvement is still questionable, so she is brought in for questioning on her own three days later. She recounts her timeline of events, but is caught lying multiple times. So far, so far. Bro, arrest the fuck out of her, dude. Why did they leave her? Why did they let her go? I'm like, I know I was joking, but then I did actually kind of believe her a little bit when she was like putting on an act, because I am a simp. But like, how? How did they let her go? The goddamn dude. This is where you're at. I've got at least two times you've lied to us in this investigation. You've lied twice in here today. <clears throat> Correct? Say about, yes. About the anything. You lied okay. at least twice in here today. Okay. Yes. Yes. Don't get smart with me. Well, I'm not. Okay, because I'm, I'm here. Listen, I'm I'm third. I'm the third day burning a candle trying to find your son. Yes. Sir. Okay. When you were sleeping, my ass was here. Okay. Just. Straighten your attitude up, because I'm telling you, tip, I'm tip of the iceberg, I'm young lady. You, I'm telling you everything. No, you're not. You better get on board. Bullshit. I'm still talking. Lower your I'm voice. Now, I'm, the, I'm the one that needs to be mad. I'm the one that needs to be mad, because you have lied to me. You've lied to her. You've lied You've lied about I, your son to your father. Why yeah. does not, how come Reuben don't like your son? I don't know. What, what, Why what? would he not like my son? I don't know. I don't know either. He hasn't never showed any kind of harm nature towards my children. My children weren't scared of him. I would never leave my kids with someone I felt was going to hurt them. I've never in a, I've never seen this coming. He's never been harmful towards me. He's never been, me and him haven't never fought. He's never put his hands on me. He's never spanked my children. I had no reason to believe that he would do anything. I hope he's not spanking kids. your children. No, I don't. Wouldn't allow him. Spanking, to. motherfucker! He killed him, dude. What, what are you talking about, spanking? Spank my children. I don't even spank my children. You let him give they them baths, all right? No, I let he he's gave in a bath before. Why? He's never, but why? Because he's a boy. I wouldn't. He's a man. I'm not gonna let him bathe my little girl, for sure. So it's okay to have a drug dealer, and in your house and be around your kids. No, I didn't say that that was okay. I'm that I fucked up on, obviously. But did I think that he would hurt my children? No, I did not. And they were never nothing was it's okay to have a drug dealer anything. in your house. Did I say I know it's not okay? okay. Let's, let's that. Answer, that's all I want to know. I just said okay. that. No, it wasn't okay. I fucked up there. That's my fuck up. I should have never. Mm. Oh, we're not home. done yet. I your fuck that. ups are going. I got a long arm list of your fuck ups since I've known you on this case. We're still not there. Okay, well, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Get there with not, you. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Listen, I'm telling you right now, because you've lied during a felony investigation already. Felony investigation. You've lied. I've asked you to be honest. I'm being honest. Okay, <laughs> get on board with us. I'm getting on board with you. Lower your voice to me, because you have no right to low, to raise your voice to me. You fucking lied to me twice in your son's abduction case. Don't. Okay, Lower well, your, don't I, raise your voice to me. I have no reason to want to harm my baby or anything like that. And if I knew where he was, I would definitely have done fucking said something. Yeah, I fucked Stop. up by not calling and telling y'all what Stop. I was doing. Stop. Stop.
Stop. I didn't have nothing to fucking do with that. You got a reason to lie to me? No, I do not. Why have you done it twice now? I don't even know. Do you I know how to tell why. the truth? <laughs> yes, I do know. She's like, I don't know why I lied to you. Dude, this is the Steven method. It's kind of like, like, it's kind of back. You know what I mean? Why are you lying to me, Steven? Can you do this? Why, Steven? Why? It's just like all cops are kind of the same. They just can't stop. They're a monolith. How to tell the truth, and I'm doing my best right now. Just I'm coming forward right with you now, three days later. I'm doing everything. I'm answering all your questions honestly with you right now, and I can honestly tell you, your son's I have, been sick. My son's been sick. Yes. I told you what was wrong. I told you what has he not been sick? Yes or no? Moments. Yes. Okay. Wait. Did they find the kid in the car, or what happened? Why is he saying her, your son's been sick? Oh, the kid's dead. I guess this is the other. Okay, he's been fussy, correct? Not too much. Well, I, I would, you could say if you're, irritable. If you're teething you and could, you need, like I said, you could say you need fever. Okay, fussy and irritable, I think are synonyms, thing. right? Yeah. Okay. So you, it's so much that you need fever reducer for him, right? Because mm -hmm. he's teething. You said something about his teeth. And, he's got four teeth. And so, which may also cause a fever, but also help him. So he's been fussy. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's been sick. He threw up apparently, right? Did we have something like that uh, on some sheets not a while back? Not too long Once ago. Yeah, about a week. Yeah, about a week ago. And then on the black sheet that was uh, on your bed. Yeah, he had a little. He had a touch of diarrhea and, and a little bit right, of vomit. Right, you told us that he he mm -hmm. pooped and and vomited on himself. Mm -hmm. So that's that wasn't just because he was eating. If you're pooping and then you vomit, there's more wrong with you than just he didn't eat something good. These are all symptoms of a basilar skull fracture. Lana also doesn't mention the black bruise behind the son's ear that she knows was there. She's downplaying the severity of the health complications that her son had, but investigators will later uncover oh. this. In comparison to the rest of the interview, Lana's speech is the- Oh, that's so fucked up, dude. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it, dude. The least confident about talking dude. about the health of her son prior- I mean, seriously, fucking volcano. Volcano for both of them in the volcano now. To his disappearance. This is indicative of a subject who may be hiding key details. Right. Which, I mean, I called the doctor's office and, and everything. What did they had, say? They, they said, don't bring him in? No, they said I could bring him in when I brought him in. She had an appointment Friday. He was supposed to go in, too, as a walk-in. I mean, they both had schedules to be seen by the doctor. We just didn't get there. How long have you known Ruben? Um, almost, well, I, I guess you could say almost a year. How long have you been with him? Um, we've been living together for the past two months, I guess you would say, tampering with the evidence. Hey, just real quick, do you normally drive the car to Wack House? Um, it's about 50 bits. Sometimes he drives, sometimes I drive, yeah. I do drive it though. I drive it a lot. Why didn't you drive it that night? Why didn't I drive it that night? Because he told me he'd just drop me off. But why? I mean, he didn't say why. But you said you drove, and I then did. he took, okay. That's what I'm saying, but that's him dropping me off. No, that's you dropping yourself off and him driving. I mean, okay, well, it's apples and oranges. Okay, well. Right. He just said he needed the, he needed, he needed I'll be down the stairs. So. Proceed. Okay. Did you get the keys? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go through the keys and everything. You're, you're a mother in this? Mm-hmm. You're a person who makes some fucking huge badass decisions in men. And you stood by this motherfucker all day the other day until we had to twist your arm about it, but that was either here nor there at this point. So we're gonna look past all that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> You're you come in here today and you've purposely lied to me. Okay? Okay. I'm ready to wipe that clean. Okay. Okay? Because if I go and read your rights and I end up arresting you for lying on a felony investigation, which is your son, you're going to get ate up in the media okay. like he is. Okay. I want you on our side. Okay? I'm not going to tolerate I don't know nothing. I'm telling been Detective Beasley and I have been giving you this hint that oh, I, don't, I don't have any idea. We're past that. You can get mad, you better not raise your voice at me because I'm gonna tell you right now, I know more 
than what you're telling me. I'm the detective will now attempt to get a confession out of Lana about what really happened to the child by falsely telling her that he already knows what happened. Police are legally allowed to lie during an interrogation in order to obtain a confession. The detective does this under the guise of being on Lana's side. Never, it will never not be fucked. It's such a strange thing. <laughs> like, but then we also found out in Canada, cops can just keep talking to you when you ask for a lawyer. Like, they don't stop like they normally do in America. They just keep, they just keep fucking talking to you nonstop. It's not legal in Germany and most of Europe. Yeah, pussies, dude. Yeah, that's where there's so much crime in Germany. Entire country is on fire in Germany. Because cops can't lie to the suspect. so he doesn't have to arrest her because the police think that Ruben committed the crime and Lana is covering for him. Hoping we would have taken quicker time. Why do you think that's fucked up? Genuinely don't understand. I mean, they could just like make up evidence, dude. Still kind of like that's just fucked up. And they do, by the way. So that's like, I don't know to get through this but I know there's more there I could tell you a lot more you're gonna know a lot more but I'm telling you I'm 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 begging you I'm begging you I don't know where my son is right. and I don't know what he done with him I really okay. don't Let's let's start with the let's start with the easy part. Let's start with the easy let's start with the easy part. Okay. I may give you that. I'm not ready to give you that yet. I may give you that. Okay. Okay. I'm I may give sweetheart. I may give you that. And I know that's one thing. Listen to me. See how see how Lana's emotional outburst is extremely convincing. She's either extremely deceptive or simply telling the truth. However, just because she may be telling the truth about not knowing where her child is at the moment, it does not mean that she is also telling the truth about not knowing what happened to the child. The detectives believe that Lana doesn't know where the current whereabouts of a child are, but they still think she knows more than what she's letting on about. Bro, white women tears technique is incredibly powerful against cops. Like, Really just like as much as the as much as the build is obviously nowhere near as OP as the white man like class. The the white women tears is like it's crazy. Like it's just crazy powerful. But what happened prior to the disappearance? I feel my hands. I may give white you man tears are more powerful. I mean, it's it, white man is the most OP build. Like, absolutely needs to be nerfed. Everybody knows this. Thought that like there would be a couple different patches. It still hasn't come. Okay. But white man tears like it doesn't matter. Like it's just not. It's like. It's like unnecessary. You ask the devs to nerf it. We have, dude. We have to restore balance to the game. We have many times. It's just like the, the devs will never nerf it. It's fucked up. It doesn't need to be nerfed. Fail fish. Everyone else needs to be buffed to that level. True. Good take. Probably just triggered a bunch of chuds in the chat. You're pretty much white to the eyes of society. Yeah, I know. I know. But I always say it's fucking, I have an insane amount of privilege. I, I, I am familiar.
That's a, that's a chat technique where chatter repeats something that I already agree with and admit about myself, but they do it in a condescending capacity because they think it's an own. Really ineffective technique, but chatter still love using it. I'm not ready to give you that yet. Okay. But you gotta give me what happened to him at the house or wherever. You gotta give it to me. I, look at me. Hold on. I'm. I'm. Are you feeling white guilt? Fuck no. The fuck is white guilt, dude? I'm not gonna get, settle for anything that I think is less than the truth on that. Yeah, dude. I've I've donated to every black person's cash app in my chat. And also, whenever I see. Whenever I see white guilt is BLM. Oh my God. How do I have so many fucking reactionaries whenever we do like interrogation videos? Yeah, dude. Whenever I, whenever I see a black person, I, uh, be sure to treat them differently than I would anyone else. And I apologize for uh, slavery anytime I, I see a black person, which is like a totally, I mean, they keep making fun of me when I do that, but I think they appreciate it, you know? Yeah, I'm always like, can I clean your shoes, please? And they keep pointing at me and laughing when I walk away. But I think it's laughter because it's, it's joyous. Like they're, they're feeling so much joy. Because this is a good white man right here. I love doing uh, performative, uh, self-indulgent, overcorrective displays of not even allyship at that point. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just self-flagellants. Just kidding. I'm not a fucking Protestant, okay? I don't do any of that shit. Let's keep going. The only thing is, is that keeps popping up in my mind. No, no, that, hold on, hold on. He, Stop. I don't Stop. Know. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I don't know what happened to him, bro. I can't tell you something that I don't know. I, I would really love for you to be crying right now. And hey, white people are built different. Okay. Yeah, I would love I would really to love just have a, a second not to cry. Honestly, I, that's one thing this, I can't, I don't know. I don't this is, know what happened this to is, my baby. Okay. Did I say flagellants? I meant flagellation. <clears throat> We're going to have a tough night. Well, I guess we'll have a tough night. Okay. That, I Sorry. don't know. I don't We're know. We're going to have a tough to night. Me. I know what team you're on. Wow. Yeah, you can wow all you want. You, you can, can wow all you want. But you know what? What do you want? Four out of five fucking dinner service. Lana's body language is. <laughs> you get funny ass pause, dude. That's a good pause. Extremely confident. She leans in, makes direct eye contact, and is not seeking approval for her answers. These are common traits of a truthful subject. What makes Lana's interrogation so fascinating is that she's clearly telling the truth sometimes, but she's also very clearly being deceptive at other times. The logical assumption here is that she's indeed hiding something, but she's also being truthful at other times. Would say, I'm not going to come. I'm not. I want you to come in here. Not fucking. Do you think, do you think lower I know your voice? Not, me. Listen. Shut your you mouth. Know. Listen. Do not ask me questions okay. you do not ask me questions in here anymore do you understand that yes, okay oh my do not God. ask me look at me or detective beasley another fucking question i want answers do not ask me another question okay. i'm doing that and she's doing that okay. i don't care about hey what what do you what do you think i would do this, or what would you think i don't want to hear that just shut your mouth and listen i want answers you've got answers I know after three days, you've got answers. I'm not going to blink about it. I know. I've been doing this way too fucking long to know you got answers. You've got answers. And we better settle it tonight. Mate, be on our fucking team. You're not. You're not. So far, until you tell me an answer, you're not. You're over here. I'm here. I don't know what happened to my baby. I don't know where he is. I can't take you to him. I don't know where he is. And I don't know what Ruben done to him. Obviously, he's done Sorry, something. I'm me. sorry. I'm not meaning to yell at you, but that's one thing that I have no reason to fucking lie to anybody about. I, before I don't I know who's got an orange car. 
The detective brings up that Lana lied to police officers the night of the investigation. When police were initially searching for the missing car the night of the incident, Lana had just finished work and was questioned by police. Lana denied knowing anything about an orange car and a missing child, even though she knew that they may have been referring to Ruben. I don't know who. I've got a white about, boyfriend. I'm talking about. I'm going to lie to you, detective. Oh, she just turned in there I for did. whatever I lied reason. I to you about that. I did. Was I that did. cool? No, it ain't cool. Was it? Hold on, hold on. Was it? Was that right there? Do you think that's important to my investigation? It is important. And so you would give me a critical. So three days later, you would give me a critical. I shouldn't have lied about it. Right here, I'm telling you the truth from the fucking beginning on. I do not know what he done to my baby. Do I feel like that he done something to him? Obviously. No, I got a white boyfriend. No, he's saying she lied to the detectives and said like. I don't know anything about anything. I have a white boyfriend. Like she just like literally lied to the cops. Okay. That's again though. Like that's kind of police misconduct. Dude, what the fuck? I feel like this shit turns me into an insult a little bit. Like, so the dude lies about his t-shirt and he's like, all right, you're fucking done. Sick criminal scum, which he is right. But the lady's like, oh, my boyfriend's white. I don't know what you're talking about. And like, they didn't fucking. They did not think that that was, uh, you know, kind of a strange thing to do. I'm just, I, I'm confused. Like, <laughs> someone said, "You're nah, she's just colorblind. Son? I, I told walked in here. Yes. Okay. I do feel like he. Why did you lie to me then? To do about Why did you fucking lie to me coming in here today on the way here? Any fucking day. I'm talking about right now. In the beginning, no, I didn't think that he had done something to him. Today. I Why did you lie to me? I don't know. I'm trying to. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get that fucking smart ass smirk out of your face I'm and don't sorry. raise your fucking lip to me and go. I don't know. Because bullshit on you, I can tell you right now, science will back it up, common sense will back it up. People lie for a motherfucking reason, and fear is never the reason, it's fear of getting caught. <laughs> the detective is absolutely right here. Lana lies for a reason, but knowing why she lies is the mystery. I'm trying to tell you. No, you said I don't know. That's not an answer I want to hear. I Kool-Aid the whole time. Well, I'm trying to answer your question. What's what important? You screaming at? You're going to lie to scream. I'm going to scream until I hear the answers. I'm gonna scream what the I'm fuck? trying to keep I'm trying What to... is this technique, dude? I've gotta scream until you tell me the truth, woman. <laughs> this is called I'm very angry technique. <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. What is he doing? He keeps like slamming the fucking desk and everything, dude. It's awesome. Just the most normal detective in Florida, dude. To keep you out of jail. Let's get back to the meat and potatoes of all this, because okay. all that is stuff that you failed at telling me, which okay. was a test, and I know it's not going to happen again. That's right. Okay, because I want to be in here maybe. I don't want to be in here no longer than we have right. to be. I want my Okay, back. well, I'm going to say it right now. We're, we got to take care of getting the rest of the truth out okay. from you. I'm tired of what debating. You, just you know what I want to? I want to know about this crime. I want to know about this crime. I don't know what else to tell you. Only, only we want to know what happened to him. I do too. I know Ruben did something to him. He had to have. I don't. I cannot sit here and tell you what happened to my baby because I don't know. That I don't know. Do I know that Ruben has had? Obviously, he's got everything to do with it. But I don't know what he does. I'm saying restorative justice or no? Restorative justice always. Okay. Yes, I get fucking you know, real pissed off sometimes. And I say, you know, these people need to go into the volcano, but ultimately that's yes. Always. To my baby. I don't know where my baby is. Tell me that. You know that it, we were at the apartment. He told me that my, that the car was took with someone in it. I didn't know that, um, that he didn't chase that vehicle out of the parking lot until you told me when we come in here and you said, you want to tell her now, that you're caught on surveillance coming back 
from dumping Is a father car, bad I take? I mean, I know, but. Until you brought that to my attention, I thought that by you, I know you're lying to me. You can't be an artist. About my baby and him hurting my baby? Yes, I am. Do not. Do not. Well, don't make me out to be like I knew something about him hurting I, my baby because my now she's right holding now. You've frame. got nothing but lie about this whole well, thing. I th yeah, okay. about things about drugs. Things like that. No, they don't mean nothing, right? I don't give a fuck We're about my kids, about you know? Her. Exactly. My point. Exactly my point. I'm not going to lie to Why you about Why are you so hung baby? up on that? If my child was missing... I wouldn't give a fuck if you pulled drugs out of my ass right now. Okay, and I'm sitting Stop here. Stop thinking about what you're going to get in trouble for. And I've just told y'all that. I'm not worried about any of you that anymore. You have done nothing I'm before you about everything you. that you're asking for. Every bit of information no, that I know, I'm not. giving it to you I'm, right now. I'm, yes, I am. You let me walk out of here and let the fucking world know that you've lied to me three days about important shit? I do not. Who's know. your best friend at that time? Us. I'm trying to Don't I fucking on get team. on my ass. I'm on the same team, you guys. I'm not trying to get on you. Bro, this dude was nowhere near this aggro with a dude who he, like, suspected actually did the murder. Okay? Like, they were like, hey, you know, hey, yeah, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. You know, who hasn't murdered a child? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, come on. Come on. Tell us now. And he's like, right now, he's just got fucking daggers, dude. He went full Florida on her ass. Like, he just went from... <laughs> he forgot that he was, he's supposed to be, like, getting information out of her in an interrogation. I think it's because it's day three of the investigation. Yeah. Your ass. You better chill out. I'm not trying to get on anyone's ass. I'm just I'm point blank. I know that I've I, I know I lied and I was. We up not even you. finished going over okay. the lies. Okay. But I you need to tell me I'm the lies to before to I say. Yeah, what? literally, it's almost like the, in his eyes, like lying to cops is worse than murdering a child, dude. Listen, you murder all the children you want, but you be honest with me now, okay? There's one thing I can't fucking stand. It's liars, okay? Child murderers is one thing, but liars, especially those who lie to cops, God damn it, it makes me go crazy. Why did you lie about this? I am That's where we're not at. Right now, that's not a lie. I felt the first time that he admitted that, honestly, that I told you, I felt he, he's looking at me in my eyes. I can tell he wants to tell me. He wanted, he, uh, he knows. Yes, he knows. Are oh, you having some 20 IQ takes right now? What do you mean? He's like losing his to. shit. And I told you he wants to tell me. I can tell he wants to tell me. I can look in his eyes and know that he, he knows. Do I? No, I don't. I wish I did. I wish I could. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, I would be super fucking pissed too. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's like weird for him to be mad. I'm simply stating that like, he had a level of professionalism when talking to the other dude because he was like trying to be sneaky and use whatever tactic he could to like get this dude to reveal or at least reveal as much information as possible in an effort to, you know, have all this information, right? Like in an effort to have as much information as possible to get him convicted. With the woman, like she's fucking definitely guilty, okay? Like straight up. Straight up guilty as fuck. Guilty of forgetting the ad break at the top of the hour. Guilty of lying to the cops. Okay? Guilty of not letting you know that, you know, you can avoid the ad breaks by subscribing. Uh, whether it's for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. If you want to avoid the ad breaks, that is. Uh, guilty of having an ad block or a VPN. You know? She's guilty of, uh, guilty of a lot of things, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish just someone would read my comment. I read all the comments. <laughs> Listen. Here's the ad break now, okay? Literally a fucking monster. We will unionize and you will be next in the volcano for your crimes. I wish he would have told me. 
Whether you wish you would have told me. Tomorrow morning you need to be here for a polygraph examination. Yes, sir. Anytime. You can do it now if you want to. Anytime. If I could do it now, I would. You're, Anytime. I've gotten you way too amped up. I'm too amped up. We need to put you on a polygraph. Like I, I mean, I know you have a hard time believing anything I have to say after I have. No, what? It's just this. Listen, I, I'm. But that I'm. When, when you came in, we, we started out rough. We got. I thought we got on the same page, and. And you, I'm trying to stay. But on you got to realize, you know. I am being honest with you now for 120. percent I am. We are here you. for you. We're not here. We can't be here for your son except to go find him. We are here for you. Okay. And I'm, okay. You and are I'm, the mom we want to bring him home to. She maintains that she lied because she's afraid of her own drug use and how that would make police look at her. The detectives tell her that they don't care about the drugs, they just want to find the child. Lana wins the detectives over as a naive mom who uses drugs and that's why she was sometimes being deceptive. The detective is about to ask- You feel nervous in front of 35k people because I would be stuttering? No. I have 35,000 children, dude. <sighs> Ask Lana what she thinks happened to her son. To him there. She didn't say what do you think happened to him? What do I think happened to him? Repeating a question is a common strategy that a manipulator will use to buy more time to come up with an answer to a question they want to be deceptive about. Lana also breaks eye contact, which is indicative of an answer that may be untruthful. I think that he wasn't watching him properly. And, and I think that he either uh, that he either got he either Say it, say it. opinion is he either he probably either drowned in the bathtub. This will be important to remember what? later. Lana indicates that the child may have drowned in a bathtub during an interrogation that was three days after he went missing. Or he wasn't watching him in our room and he got a hold of something he probably shouldn't have. Right. Those are the You're only right. two but logical that's, things that's that nuts. I can think of. You're right. That or that, like I told you, I've been telling you from the beginning. I feel like something happened at my house that my baby was already hurt before they come and got me. Did I not tell you that several times? Well, we're, we're still trying to dispel that he wasn't already hurt before you went to work. Well, that you can uh, pull wackos as cameras. I parked right when I got dropped off. When I pulled up, I pulled up right in front of the door. And that was at about eight. Mm -hmm. eight. Bro, is there like a thing in Florida where they just like let women get away with murdering their kids? Unless it's like an abortion? What is going on? Like, they just, Casey Anthony took 31 days, dude. 31 fucking days evading the authorities, just like, so casual. What is that? What's going on there? I mean, it's not, yeah, you're right. It isn't even funny. I don't know why the fuck, like, it's so weird. She's like, making stuff up yeah maybe it's the bathroom i don't know like what the fuck and you'll see a guy you'll see one of the guys that drives the golf cart uh walk up to reuben reuben's getting out the passenger side you'll see him shake hands and i'm are you saying abortion no i'm saying that like are you saying abortion's murder no i'm saying that like they get fucking they feel some type of way about <laughs> they feel some type of way about abortion like a lot of fucking conservatives do but when it comes to like actually murdering a child they're like ah you know whatever you get one at least you carried the pregnancy to term, woman. There you go. That's all I care about. It's literally the meme. It's like Republicans only care about forcing women to carry pregnancies to term. And then whatever the fuck happens to the kid afterwards, they don't give a shit about. It's like Florida is the manifestation of that policy, dude. It's like, whatever. You know, you, oh, you drowned a baby in the bathtub. Hey, fine by me. At least you carried it to term walking around the back side and the back windows of the car are not tinted and maybe you can zoom so you'll in, pass you'll that you'll pass that test with flying colors yes sir okay that's what i want to hear okay that's what i want to hear they finish up this session by giving Lana advice about staying clean getting off drugs and being truthful in the future if she comes across anything Detectives bring Lana back for another interview because they figured out that Lonzi had a bruise behind the ear prior to going missing, which Lana never mentioned before. They first warm her up to questions by asking her for her timeline again, which largely remains consistent with what she's been saying. Then they confront her about the head injury. 
The detective is about to ask why Lana is staying at a hotel alone instead of with her only other child. A caring mother would likely be distraught by her son's disappearance five days ago and will not let her other child out of her sight as a result. The detective does this to inquire her willingness to be a mother to her children and perhaps child neglect played a role in her son's disappearance. What? Let me ask you this. Why, what are you doing at Super A Hotel? What am I doing there? Staying there? Who's, where are your kids at? Where are my kids at? They're with my mom. I mean, I'm Why? staying at my mom's tonight. Why? Why? Now you're staying at Super 8 Hotel. Why? Why? Actually why are you not? Why aren't you with your kids and holding on to them? Um, Lana is clearly being deceptive here. She is not getting a Mother of the Year award anytime soon, but that does not immediately <laughs> indicate she is responsible for her son's getting disappearance. Getting a Mother of the Year the award anytime soon. The will try soon. to establish if it does. Honestly, because I, me and my mom are close, but we're not. We're I mean, me and her after a few minutes together. Why don't your we, kids? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why with you? Why with me? Because Miss Donna said that she's fine right there. She has to stay the night at my mom. Miss Donna's not your your baby's mama. There, I don't care who said asleep. what. If that's my child, I want to be with my child. Your child, your son is missing. I know, and that's why I'm your been other one. Over your here. other one. To... No, your other one should be with you. Fucking dead, and that was offensive. Let me tell you something, okay? This is done tonight. I know you know, that. This is the fucking tip of the iceberg. I know. For you. This is the tip of the iceberg for you. How was your son feeling before the last couple of oh days? Oh my god, he's back. He's getting close as fuck. Chad, this is the official Sigma technique. Is the most Sigma one you can do. This guy very clearly, and this is going to be a callback, watched the dating video uh, that we watched a couple days ago about Sigma males and how they get women, like how to turn a woman, uh, how to make a woman orgasm instantly, uh, in parentheses, uh, emotional. Uh, he definitely watched that video. He's doing all of it. He's like corner them, you know, talk real close to them. The only thing he's, uh, oh, is he a wet? The only thing he's uh he hasn't done so far is like smell them or touch her hand and then tell them that they smell good but notice how he's uh notice how he's like keeping her mind occupied so she doesn't rem she doesn't recognize that she's being trapped and cornered here The detectives will ask an open-ended question about Lonzi's injuries prior to the incident. They are looking for her to mention the bruise behind the ear on her own. Or did he have any... He was fussy. And yeah, he he's going to say, do you want to go to my house and do the tra-la-la? Did he have any injuries or anything like that on him? Bruises, maybe? Not he... Well, from right here, he had a little bit of a mark on his lip right here from where he was gnawing his lips, and that's why I know... What about his eye or anything no. behind his ear? No, he had a little bit of a, um, a, a bruise about that big right here behind his ear. She does mention the bruise, but downplays its severity and only when she thinks the detectives are onto her. She only mentioned it after the detective specifically asked about any injuries behind the ear. In reality, it was not just a bruise. It was likely a basal skull fracture. Lana is not a criminal for not knowing exactly what this kind of injury is. However, she will be accountable to some degree since leaking fluid from the ear, vomiting, and having a bruise behind the ear is not indicative of a normal injury. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? I wasn't even sure, honestly. I wasn't sure where it come from. And I was oh, like, I look scum, at dude. I Absolutely fucking so scumbag, dude. Like, dude, child abuse is so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something controversial here, dude. Child abuse is very fucked up. Yeah, I said it. Hot take. Child abuse is wrong and very bad. I know I'm brave. I'll let it out. Folks, that's why, uh, that's why you come here. <laughs> as a father, good take. What did you just have a child, man? This is the second time you as a fathered me. Okay. Earlier I said, I believe in restorative justice, even for people like this. He goes, as a father, bad take. <laughs> He's got a bruise behind the ear. That's basically a skull fracture. Do you know that? No, I didn't This know right that. here that's is your basal was... skull bone. Well, that's all Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, no, well that's, not what you, that's not one you take to the doctor. That's one you take to the hospital. Well, because your child that. starts acting fussy. Your child starts giving, showing symptoms of head trauma. Oh, and don't forget the throwing up. Throwing up. Yeah, he was sick. I was taking yeah. him to the doctor. He you was, wasn't taking him to the doctor. You were stripping. Friday. You were stripping. 
I was supposed to be taking him Friday. You know, that's not what you wait for. How did he hear? How did he hurt his head? How did you, how'd you get told he hurt his head? He said he didn't know how he hurt his head. He didn't know. He's got a black bruise behind his ear. He said, "Yeah." He said he didn't know how it got there. And that's I told one him, well, I'll have it checked out. Get your yes, out at that's the my ne- very next question. We're on the same thing. How do you bruise the back of your ear? Behind your fucking ear? I don't know. <laughs> You're stupid. I'm not fucking stupid. Oh, I'm you being are. honest with you. You're trying. I come home and the bruise was already there. When, I asked when did you see it? Like Tuesday or when? Like Tuesday. Lana has just incriminated herself by admitting that she was aware of a serious injury that her son had, but did not take him to the doctor for. This will be used later to arrest her for child neglect. I noticed it, and he asked him what it was from. I said, "How did this happen?" And he told me, "I, I don't." And know. that was okay for you? No, I told. Oh my God! What the fuck? I mean. I get why they would be mad at her, like, I, I get why they'd be mad at her, but like, holy shit. I'll take him to the doctor. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know how you just hurt my kid, but you can stay around a week and he said he did it. He... Get the fuck out of here with that. That's, that's really wrong. He didn't tell me that he did anything to him. He didn't have to! Did you fucking think the thing jumped out of the goddamn sky? No, but my baby also is, I mean, he's a baby. He's he throwing up. Behind his okay, ear. this is officially the most insane roller coaster of a fucking interrogation I've ever watched on this broadcast, and that's saying a lot. We've seen a lot of, we've seen a lot of interrogations on here. This is perhaps one of the most, this is one for the books. This is one of the most insane ones where they're just like, They're, they're gonna fucking kill her, dude. He enters his head. No, but I didn't. He unknowingly, out of the blue, in, has a head. Bad injury, cop, head worse injury. cop. Yeah. Right here. I'm talking about right here. Okay. Okay. He injured. He's got a black and blue bruise behind his ear. Okay. My mom was there Wednesday. She seen it too. She said, "Take him to the doctor on Friday." Your son's throwing up. Your son, at one point, not only threw up while he was throwing up, what else did he do at the same time? He, he shit diarrhea. himself. Exactly. Yeah, I fit, he was sick. I was taking him to the doctor. That's not something you wait for. Okay, you're well, not that, gonna, maybe hold I on, messed hold up on. And there, this is this is not your first child. No, it's not. Like it's I not said, your first it's... child. If your kid starts throwing up and shitting, and you have an unknown injury, that's not what you schedule. You're not going to convince me of that. And I know, hold on, I know that all this is part of it. Okay? Your son wasn't happy. Your son wasn't wanting to eat. Your son wasn't wanting all this because when you have a basic... I really don't think there's a technique here. You guys might get mad at me, but I don't give a fuck. I literally don't think that there is a single fucking technique here. At this stage, I feel like they're just unloading onto her because they're frustrated. Understandably frustrated. But I really just think they're just literally just like you fucking whore, you bitch, you were doing stripping on, and which is understandable. Like they're they're mad at her for fucking neglecting her child with this like abusive dad who then ended up, or you know, abusive uh, boyfriend who ended up murdering him. But like I don't know what you can use, and this part of the interrogation as like evidence to show her guilt as well skull fracture you don't eat you can't eat you can't drink you throw up you can't have diarrhea okay well, okay so I your son eating your, hold on so when you say your son ate shrimp alfredo he did take a few bites of it with me. a yes, few bites how many a few bites did you just shove a spoon in his mouth no okay well he didn't eat yeah, he, he didn't did. eat. He didn't eat till he was full. I told you he didn't eat till he was he was full. But he's he not had. eating. He's being forced to eat, and that's no. not that's typical with the head injury. He's why not acting. Force him to eat. First of all, why'd you get him ear medicine? Why'd I get him ear medicine? Because his it he looked he was like pulling out his ear. He Same ear that was bruised, right? Mm-hmm, he was yeah. pulling at it. Okay. So another clue. Okay. What? No discharge in his ear. He was pulling at his ear. No, there was stuff coming out of it a little bit. But Blood? Yeah, no, yeah, a lot of stuff. But earwax. Do you have a fever at all? Um, I think it got up to about, mm, I want to say, 99.9. It was like right at 100, and I got a fever reducer and gave it to him. 
get back on track. Because okay. that conversation is where I got a problem. I'm going to tell you, first of all, we've gone through the evidence now. Mm -hmm. Okay. The car, without a doubt, 100, 1,000%, the car being stolen That's is bullshit. Yeah. No physical evidence for anybody in that car but Ruben. Okay. Okay. Do you know where that car was parked at? That car was parked in front of Ruben's cousin's house. Okay. You know his cousin over there? Okay, well his grand, he's, he's got a cousin right there where that car is parked in front of. That's that was the most idiotic, like aside from the fucking insane cruelty, okay, of the actions that these two engaged in. The dumbest part of that process is when he thought that he could get away with it by just like leaving the car at his cousin's house and then just like running back and calling the cops. I didn't know that. Okay, well, I'm just telling you. I know the truth. I know you know the truth. That I I, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Don't look away from me. Don't stop me. You want to sit here and stick with a story that you don't know what happened? You don't have any idea from Ruben or what happened? Me and you's got serious problems. Well, he you didn't are, tell me. You are lying. I am not lying. You are lying I to me. I want a polygraph test. I'm not lying. You're, you're failing it. You can't, I you can't listen. Me. I do not know what happened to you. You cannot pass a polygraph test. You know why? Why? Because you've lied to me. I do not. I can't put you on a polygraph test because you lie to me. I'm telling you right now, you are lying to me right now. It's I'm just not like lying it's to you. like. Do the, I need to get a lawyer because I don't? Do you want a lawyer? Do you only want? If, only do you if want you a lawyer? Think do you want to lie to you about that? Do you want to stop right now? I would not do you want to stop about? Right? Do you want to talk to me? I would not lie about that. Do you want a lawyer? No. I understand. You just asked for a lawyer. Did I, if you tell me you want a lawyer, I'm leaving and this I is don't, over. I don't. Are you sure? I'm positive because I don't know what happened to my baby and I don't know where he is and the motherfucker didn't tell me. This is called the do you want a lawyer technique. I've never seen this before. He's like actually winning this interrogation. Despite the fact that it's not even an interrogation. It's just a beration. He's just berating this person. Can you even, is that a word beration? I don't know. Like. I've never seen a cop be like, you want a fucking lawyer? I'll, I'll leave this room right now. I'll fucking, I'll tell you what. You want to go free? I mean, this is the second time that they've done this. Jacksonville Police Department operates by no one else's rules, okay? They left the door open originally when they knew the guy was most likely guilty. And they were like, you want to get the fuck out of here right now? Don't do it. Don't do it now. But you can if you want to, but don't do it. But you can. The door is open, but don't you fucking do it. And now he's doing another thing uh, that I've never seen before, which is just, you want a lawyer? I'll fucking leave right now. You get, you get that goddamn lawyer, okay? You defend yourself in the court of law. You do it appropriately. It's like, he, he's like no ballsing her to get a fucking lawyer, dude. Pull your hands away. What? Okay, listen. Listen, we're as upset about this as you are, okay? Okay, but I can't tell you something that I don't know. Listen, he didn't hold on, tell hold me on, what he hold on, do me, listen, okay. listen to me. I've been here a week now. Look at me. Don't quiver and mm -hmm. leave the, the stage show out of it. You haven't, you can't shed one damn tear. I, I don't want you on the other team, but I'm begging you to listen to me. If it accident happened that's not a violation of the law the detectives think lana may be guilty at this point the detective is trying to get one foot in the door by having lana admit to a lesser crime than the one that may have been committed if lana confesses to some sort of accident the detectives can further push for a more appropriate confession the detective also fabricates that he has evidence that lana knows what happened it would be common for a guilty suspect to take the bait in these circumstances and admit that an accident occurred understand that? I do understand that. Okay. Let it sink in. If an accident happened, it doesn't mean he was murdered. Okay? Okay. Now, if, if he's, if he was physically attacked, disciplined, or whatever, that's an issue I have. 
he did not tell me something happened to my baby. And that's the honest truth. That's the truth. I can't you know more than the truth, and that is it. You can tell me that shirt's red all day long. It's blue. Well, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. Okay. Let me ask you this. When you talked about the bruise with Reuben, mm -hmm. did y'all get into any dispute over that? Um, I just told him he. I just told him that. And I said, look how you know how white he is, anyways. You know, so people Why was he white? Think, his complexion. His yeah, his his complexion. I said people are going to think that we abuse him. I said, yeah. So I said, you confronted him to yeah, some degree that, about the bruise. Yeah, because it made him. sense that. that okay, so you argued about it. You know, well, we didn't argue about well, it. Well, I mean, I don't know what we your bickered, definition of argument is. We bickered but a little bit. Did Ruben that's Ruben an argument. Bickering is an argument. Same okay. thing. Did I'm telling you the truth. Okay, on. so hold on. Let's just say, I'm telling let's you end this right now, okay? You want to stick with this story, right? With what story? I'm you don't know you nothing. Happened. You don't know nothing. I don't. I don't We're know. Done. Well, I don't know. You're done. Oh, my We're God. Done. We're done. Oh, my God. He's leaving. It's called the leaving an interrogation technique. What is he doing? I so just, fucking strange. Wait, you don't know nothing. Happened. You don't know nothing. I don't. I don't We're know. done. Well, I don't know. You're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I can't. What, I'm seeing. I what are you saying? Thank you for your non-help. What are you I let, talking I let me go. Can I, can, use, can I use the restroom? Yes. Let's do now. fucking LSF now. Know. Let's take a look at what the fuck's going on in LSF. Uh, Right. He's still yelling in the hallway. He's like, wow! He's yelling in the high hallway, dude. This is this is incredible. He just rage quit. Like, you guys understand why I'm making fun of this cop, right? Like not because like, oh, his son, he's still a cab. Like he's signing with a fucking child murderer, child abuser. Like you understand that he has to fucking maintain like a presence there in an effort to be able to extract information out of her so she can go to fucking jail. And he's done nothing of the sort so far. He just basically yelled at her because he seemed butthurt that she lied to him. <laughs> and then got himself, whipped himself up in a frenzy and then walked away from the fucking interrogation. And even at, even at a certain point, unironically, he was like, yeah, bring in a lawyer. I don't give a fuck. Call the lawyer. I'll arrest the lawyer. <laughs> like, he just basically lost his fucking composure. This is so insane. This is very similar to the Steve. Can you do this, Steven? Who means more to you than your kids? No one. My kids are, they mean the world to me. And I'm not lying to y'all. And that's why I told him I've offered several times. Just give me a polygraph test. Whatever. I am not lying to you. And my mom did tell me take him to the doctor. Probably. It obviously Early. worked. Uh, yeah, the only reason why this works is because, like, oftentimes motherfuckers are real dumb, dude. Like, that's the only reason. <laughs> After watching these interrogation videos, with, like, a few exceptions, it's, like, 90% of the time, it's because the fucking uh, criminal is too stupid. Like, way too fucking stupid. Very rarely is it because, like, the cops did a really good job interrogating the shit out of the suspect. Like, I remember when we first started watching JCS videos and like, there would be insane cops, like just impressive feats. You know what I mean? Doing a really good job finding, you know, uh, inconsistencies and in stories and like picking a thread until everything unwinds. And, and since then it's like 90% of it is just like, you fucking tell me not criminal. 
You know you did it. I'll leave this goddamn room right now. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> like. It's just so. It's just fucking a barrage of like yells and tantrums until like the, the person ahead of them is just like, yeah, I did it. I did it. I, I mean, fuck, I didn't do it, but I did it. Fuck out. Oh, goddamn. damn. <laughs> Things I don't, I'm not saying you're lying about, but there's other things that it's by record and by the things one, we've done. But let's clear this up. Mother to mother, woman to yeah, woman. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is not one thing or one person on this earth that could keep me, whether I felt like I was going to spend the rest of my life in prison. I would do that to bring justice to my baby. I do not know where my baby is. When, I do when, not know what Ruben done. I, I think you don't know where he's at. I and I did not hurt him. I don't I, agree with I don't know what Ruben did. He didn't tell me. And that's the God's honest truth. He they go in circles and the detectives do not recover any new substantial information. Lana maintains her original story. I know what was said in the conversation. There's a reason I know. Okay, I still don't know what was said. I don't remember yeah. what you're you, getting if, at If here. you stay with that right there, you're going to get burned in this. What am I? What? You, I, I can't tell you. I, 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 I know what was said. I can't physically tell you because then anybody could say, well, you told her what to say. Detectives keep trying to bluff their way into knowing that Lana is withholding information about what happened, but Lana maintains that she doesn't. I'm trying to save your butt. You know, I don't know what, any other way to, to think. You know, if, if you think that this is going to look bad on you, like you said about, you know, he flushed the dope or, you know, you, you, people do things to cover up things and, okay. I'm sorry I have to do this. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Really? I mean, are you serious? This is the most. This is ridiculous, dude. That's nuts. I mean, listen, undeniable. That's why she's going to solve the fucking crime, dude. It's Blue's Clues. Where's the dog? Hey, let's get past that. Yeah, I'm not covering up anything. I'm not holding nothing back from Well, you. I know you are because I know based on the conversation, okay? I, I know. Between me and Ruben, you're telling me that Ruben told me something that I'm not telling you. Yeah. And what was said is is not, you know, do I think that you hold the, the, the answer to where the baby is? No, I don't think that. I don't I think I think right now that there's some things about you and I mean you could probably say the same thing about me you don't like. Okay, there's some things I don't like right now. But I don't think you'd keep the damn place your kid was if, if you had No, and I don't know what happened to him either though. Right. He didn't tell me what happened to my baby. Right. He told me he didn't do anything to my baby. And told me no matter what, you know. Okay. I, I I can't I can't say anything. Comes to you, comes to you. What are know, you talking about? I know what, sweetie. I know what Listen. the conversation. No, 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 no. Okay, no, well, no. he didn't tell me that he hurt my baby or anything like that. He just kept saying he was so sorry. You know, the one that's gonna be. Oh my God! It's literally. It's actually good of your bad cop, worse cop, dude. He's two for two. She just keeps, she just keeps making him rage quit. What the fuck? What technique is this, dude? This is the I'm disgusted by you technique. This is a real, this is a real strange meta. Real strange meta that they're trying out. It, very interesting. Very interesting meta. Sorry, now you. What in the world?
Lana is asked to come back a few weeks later. This is approximately three weeks after her son's initial disappearance. At this point, there is a warrant out for Lana's arrest for child neglect and lying to police after the last interrogation. No matter what happens during this interview, she will not be going home. This is the final chance detectives have to operate under the guise of being on her side. They will attempt to get some evidence to use in the prosecution of Ruben. She maintains the same story and timeline. She appears to be clearly against Ruben at this point, but it's anyone's guess whether this is because because she thinks Reuben is responsible for hurting her son, or it's because she perceives that she can get away with this only if the detectives think she's against Reuben. However, she still maintains that she doesn't know what Reuben did or where her son is. The detectives try to get some additional information from her, but her story remains the same. At this point, it's clear to the detectives that Lana cannot help them anymore in their prosecution of Reuben, and it's time to reveal to her that she won't be going home. Talking with never we... cried. Mama, let her get done. <laughs> Please let her get done. I'm ready to go home. Listen, you, you understand what you read in my paper, right? Mm -hmm. You don't get to go home. What? Did you hear? Did you ask me if that was a warrant signed for you? Yeah. That's what's signed for you. So for I child have to, neglect, yes. For child to, neglect. Yeah, it's not for it's not for hurting your child as far as this incident. So I'm going to jail. Yes. Yes. And it's not. Listen, it's not for this baby being hurt. The law looks at failure to do certain things as a violation of the law okay it doesn't it doesn't distinguish between who did it in other so, words so i'm going to jail because i left my baby with him the baby had injuries okay on his head just like when your mama talked if that baby has an injury on his head like that you have to immediately get him care okay right or wrong yeah okay so i'm in the lawyer then that's up to you. I can't. Yeah. I can't give you that that information. Okay. You can get up. You don't know what that smokes, do you? I, I have searched even for the Bobo cigarettes, and I can't find you any. <laughs> Look, turn them out like this, because that way it doesn't lock up on you and hurt as much. Okay. Okay. And um. Lana is arrested for child neglect because she failed to provide the necessary care after the child had injuries. Five months later, Lonzi Barton was still not found. However, prosecutors reached a plea agreement with Reuben's attorney. The deal was that Reuben would serve 20 years in prison without the possibility of parole for his charges if he led law enforcement to Lonzi's remains and told the truth. This agreement was made because there was no other way to find Lonzi's body and because there was not enough evidence to successfully prosecute Reuben on a bigger sentence. Reuben took that deal and led police to where the remains were. Lonzi Barton was finally found. Medical examinations showed that the the cause of death was unable to be pinpointed since it had been too long after the child died. However, there were rib and skull fractures found on the remains. This means that the child likely faced abuse prior to death. During Reuben's sentencing hearing, he claimed that Lonzi died in a bathtub while he and Lana were having intercourse. He panicked and hid the child's body, then came up with the car being stolen story. Reuben maintains that Lana knew about everything and went to work the evening of July 23, knowing Lonzi was dead. Lana has a different story, saying that Lonzi was still alive when she went to work that evening. We know that one of them is lying since they both made these statements under oath, but without evidence, it's just a case of he said, she said, and that does not hold up in a court of law. This case is a reminder that it doesn't matter what prosecutors believe happened, it's about what they can prove happened. Lana Barton was sentenced for five years of prison for child neglect as she had failed to report injuries that Lonzi had the day before he went missing, as well as lying to police during the investigation. Lana Barton thereafter pleaded guilty to unrelated drug charges and was sentenced to an additional seven years of prison. In total, she will serve 12 years of prison. Her release is scheduled for 2026. Ruben Ebron Jr.'s release is scheduled for late 2038.
I'll switch bitches. Like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>